Hello everyone. Welcome, welcome to the tier list and live stream. <laughs> uh, today is a very special day. And I say like that like it's actually really special, but it's not really. But it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a very interesting uh, tier list uh, today that we do today. Um, so I got this idea like a while ago while I was thinking of tier lists uh, to make on the channel. Um, and one of the ideas, along with like, you know, the fuck Mary kill that I did the last time, I also thought about uh, the Isekai tier list, where it's, where, which video game world, or world in a uh, fictional universe, would be the best to live in, and which would be the worst. So, here, we're going to figure that out today, together, as we go through, um, from what I remember this guy uh, putting it into his things, um, 334... Video game franchises for us to rank. <laughs> uh, so, so some of these are similar but also different, because like as you can see, there's like all the Mario games up here in the very beginning, and also the, all the different Pokemon's. Some of the Pokemon's we might kind of just group together unless we can actually we can look at the video game franchise itself and see uh, which of those would be like the best to live. Or, like, if they would have a unique enough world in that setting to be its own world, basically. So, we'll figure out as we go along. But here's the full list of all of the games that uh, we are going to be going through today. We have uh, quite a selection on our hands. Um, you'll also notice that I have made the uh, soundbar over the, the, there. There there it is. <laughs> uh, I, I, I finally made a music bar for this uh, for these streams, so now you can know what songs are playing uh, as we uh, go along, just like in our drawing streams. <laughs> I feel like it was a neat change, especially for like the stuff that we do here. <laughs> um, this is probably going to be the last tier list video for a while, though, until I uh, come up with more ideas for more tier lists to do in the future. <laughs> um, because, or at least, at least for a little while. Because I want to do uh, Would You Rather as well on uh, on the stream at one point, and maybe even uh, Akinator or something like that. Uh, for today, we're going to be doing uh, this one, and uh, I feel like this will probably take the whole stream honestly. Because there's going to be some lengthy debates. I feel like going into all of the uh, all the video game franchises we see here today. Some of them might be very similar, so and some of them I might not even know at all. So. We'll have to either look them up or debate on uh, what they're gonna, what they're, what they are, how they should be. <laughs> All right. Uh, so without, hold on. I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna put you on further ado for right now. I got some notifications. Okay, there we go. <laughs> um, so without further ado, let's uh, get into the tier list. So basically, the ra the way I'm ranking it, I'm, I'm gonna rank it a little bit more traditionally this time, where you know, S is very, very good, like top of the line. Uh, you would definitely want to live in this world. Um, a would be like, this is a really good world, but uh, there's, it, it's, it could be better if it had some um, much needed like things. Uh, B tier basically is just like, oh yeah, this is a this is a fine enough world to live in. It's got some stuff that you might not like, but you can work around it at least. <laughs> um, C is very like average tier, so it's like. Yeah, th th this world is great, but it's also really terrible at the same time. So you, you kind of have to pick the good with the bad. And then uh, you can just kind of lay low in the middle of the road here. Um, D means that it is pretty undesirable. It's, it's a little undesirable to live here. There's there's a good amount of bad stuff in here to kind of deter you away from wanting to be here. Um, 
E rank is like, oh no, this is this is a bad world. Uh, I w I wouldn't want to live in this world. <laughs> you kidding me? <laughs> this is actually this is pretty terrible actually. And F is just like, oh god, please get that world away from me. And uh, I want to make sure I stay at least five hundred thousand meters away from it at all times. <laughs> please just have it stay out of my vision, and uh, we will not worry about it. <laughs> it's like th th like this is the heaven of the uh, video game world, and this is the hell. <laughs> Basically ranking from top to bottom here. <laughs> Put everything that's not Sonic or Animal Crossing into F tier. <laughs> Fancy. We wouldn't have a stream if we did it that way. <laughs> Although I have to agree with you on most of that. <laughs> Still though, we uh, we we and Pokemon, of course. Yeah, you got you gotta live in the Pokemon world. Pokemon world would be a great living. But uh, like I said, I want some good debates on some of these things. I want, I want like good things of like, what's good to be uh, living in this world for, and what's bad. <laughs> what, what, what would, what would make you want to not live in the video game world that is gonna be described here? So yeah, um, basically now answering our uh, wee brains of when we die, uh, where do we go? Some of us might go to heaven. Some of us might go to hell. Some of us might get transported to in a different world entirely, and that is, and in case of that. Which world would we have the choice to do so? This list will solve all of our answers here. <laughs> so, let us start with the very first uh, game franchise here, which is the Super Mario Brothers, the Super Mario series. Um, so this is like specifically, I'm sure speaking about like the actual Mario games themselves, like the world of Mario where you are, where you have castles, and uh, fields with a bunch of bricks and uh, little enemies running about. Um, basically, your tradition, your your games that are basically like uh, Super Mario Brothers, New Super Mario Brothers, um, maybe even the 3D Land games and 3D World games. So that's about the world kind of scope that we're talking about here. Um, Super Mario World seems kind of cool. I gotta admit. Uh, Especially if we get the uh, the power ups, like if you if you could if you could go around and collect power ups and actually use the uh, different powers like Mario and the gang do, uh, that'd be that'd be pretty nice. I, I wouldn't mind using fire powers for sure, <laughs> or even ice. <laughs> and then even if, if you get the mushrooms, you can go bigger or very very big. <laughs> you can also if you go to the uh, the the cat world, you uh, you can turn yourself into a cat version. <laughs> Which, uh, who wouldn't want to do that, right? <laughs> Let me actually look, scroll through the list real quickly and see if there is a 3D Mario World or 3D Mario Land kind of thingy. Um, not that I can see. So we can assume that that's part of this world as well, then. Uh, put in B because of Princess Peach. <laughs> that's true. Again, with the, with, the, with the world of the Isekai uh, world here, you have to at least you have to also have to deal with all the canon w characters that live there right now, so you'll have you'll have the events of the worlds going on as everything goes around you. <laughs> um, if I were living in the Mario world, I probably would be like I would either be a Toad, or I would be like one of like the weird human characters kind of living off in the distance. Um, now I think about it, do they get, do they have Paper Mario in here? If they don't have Paper Mario in here, that's a sin. <laughs> That'd be an amazing world to live in. Um, I don't know. Because again, also, if you if you do live in this world, you do have to deal with uh, Bowser's invasions, um, other enemies that just generally go about sometimes too. It'll be dangerous to travel on the roads for sure. <laughs> you might have the chance of turning into a brick or a block or something. <laughs> so, yeah. I would say B tier would be a good bet for that, actually, yeah. Because <laughs> there's there's some good stuff in this world, but the you, you'd have to deal with a lot of the enemies, which those enemies wouldn't be too bad to deal with if you had the uh, power-ups. But there's still the, the everything else that goes on around it. Um... Also, a lot of the other Mario... Oh, there's Paper Mario. I see it right there. <laughs> Yeah, and some of the other Mario things in here, like they have Mario Party, I think, here, and then Mario... What the hell is this? I'm actually trying to read that. That's weird. Okay. Mario Tennis. Okay, I see it. I see it there now. 
that's the Mario Tennis universe. <laughs> and then the Mario Kart world. Okay. Um, but yeah, I would say probably B. At least for now. I might move them around later once I get uh, down the line. Uh, Mario Kart. Uh, this is an interesting little world. So instead of... So it's like the Mario universe, but everyone's kind of a little bit more buddy-buddy. And everyone kind of just sells their disputes in uh, giant kart races that uh, go around the, the whole world. <laughs> um, I like go-karting. Go-karting is fun. I, I've, I've tried it out myself a couple of times. And uh, if you got to use all the items that you did in, the, in, the, in there as well, this would actually be a blast to live in. <laughs> I wouldn't mind going into a couple of co-kart tournaments, luring the tracks, um, battling out against the Mario cast, <laughs> maybe even making some friends with them. It could be nice. I think that would that, that would be a good deal. I think actually. <laughs> um, only downsides is you 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 also get hit with the items that are on the field itself, and you have a good uh, time of crashing into everything as well. Um, there's also some tracks in the game that are a little bit more deadly than others, but you always have Lakitu to pick you back up and put you on the track. You always have to deal with those little moments where you might you you kind of have the the scare of death right there, because uh, not only are you getting hit with bombs and shells and bananas and such like that, but you also have uh, you also have to deal with like the. Uh, <laughs> with falling off the track sometimes and maybe almost colliding into the earth itself. <laughs> so, you know, normal shit. <laughs> um, I think, I, I think personally I could deal with it. So I think I could, but of course, you know, there's still the risk of everything. It's not a perfect world, honestly. So I would put it in A tier. <laughs> there's still some things that would like make you not want to maybe be especially like if you're not into go-karting or not into uh thrills like that you might not wish to mm -hmm. um mario party oh boy um so here's an interesting world to live in so uh again it's, it's like mario kart but instead of participating in go-kart races all the time you're participating in a giant board with Mario Party mini games um, in between everything. So everything's still based in the Mario universe, but now you had to battle it out in mini games with everyone and uh, try to collect stars to come up across top of with everyone. <laughs> um, I can tell you right now, some of those video, some of those mini games would be easy for me to do. Some of them would be very hard, <laughs> uh, especially like the platforming stuff. I would be like very bad at those. <laughs> Also, you, you you do have to deal with a lot of shit, too. Also, you just have to deal with the, the gimmicks of Mario Party itself, which in itself is not very, uh, not very appealing sometimes. <laughs> so. I'd say this probably goes about the same tier, probably, as Super Mario. Because, like, you can still live in the Mario universe here, but in this, you, know, you just have to deal with the party games. Which the party games can't be fun, but eh. actually, I think it's about even. I think it's about evenly good and bad, because <laughs> uh, there's still some things you have to uh, deal with in the whole uh, spectrum of everything. <laughs> so yeah, I'd say I'd say middle of the road for Mario Party. <laughs> Let me know what you think of these, also, Pansy, <laughs> and if you agree with these, <laughs> Doctor Mario. Um, how would you live in this world? <laughs> like, how do you live in the Dr. Mario universe? I, I haven't played any of the newer games, so I don't know how they work. But apparently there's, like, viruses that go about, and you have the doctors that, like, cure them and play Tetris with all the things. Uh, <laughs> I mean, if you, if you get Tetris powers, that would be kind of cool. But, <laughs> uh, I think, uh, I don't, I don't really see much of the appeal, at least, in living in the Dr. Mario universe, because... You have to be, like, into the medical profession, I think, mostly, to uh, get anything done <laughs> that you would want to. I don't think it would be bad. Like, it's not an E or F tier worth of kind of thing, but it's not very desirable. So, I think I'll put in D to uh, just, uh, to be like, yeah, I'd rather just live up here than in, in this little thing. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh... 
Mario Tennis, um, also just like the other Mario games, but instead of instead of the uh, instead of just in the Super Mario World, or instead of doing Mario Party games or Mario Kart uh, kind of uh, races, you would now have to play tennis with everyone. <laughs> so there's that, I suppose. Dr. Mario goes in S tier because I want to play Tetris inside someone's body. <laughs> yeah, that's very true. <laughs> Again, if you get Tetris powers, that's kind of cool, but I personally would rather live in the other worlds rather than do stuff like that all the time. <laughs> There's at least more variance with some of these other things up here. Um, as for tennis, so yeah, it, it's just Mario, but you play with, uh, you play tennis with everyone. <laughs> Which, I'm not too good at tennis, but I do like playing it sometimes, so it's not that bad. Um... I still think I'd rather live in the Mario universe, so I think I'll put it in the same tier as Mario Party, where it's just like, eh. Also, I know with some of the Mario Tennis people, I think you gotta deal with, like, super attacks. So, you could get super attacks yourself, though, which actually, that'll bump it up. If you get your own super attack, that'd be amazing. Because <laughs> then you could spike them, the ball into their in their field, and uh, do a bunch of cool shit with your thing as well. <laughs> that'd actually be kind of cool, actually, now that I think about it, yeah. And again, you can make friends with everyone, so, actually... I would say maybe same tier as uh, Mario Kart. Again, if like if you're into that thing, it would be a good world to live in, because everyone's friendly with each other. Everyone just has little competitions with each other. Everyone has cool powers that they can use with the against each other. It's a good time, I'd say. It's a fairly good time. <laughs> uh, now about the world of Super Mario Maker. <laughs> oh boy. So uh, so if I'm assuming you're living in the world of Super Mario Maker. You basically... I don't know how that would work, actually, now I think about it. Like, how would that work? Because I know it, I know how this game works in a video game sense, but how would it work in a world sense? Because you're just going through, like, the Mario levels, but they're made by, like, a whole bunch of different people. And some of them are notoriously hard. Some of them are very hard. So, because of those levels specifically, this might actually bring it down a bit. I'm, I'm not sure if that would be a good spot to be in. <laughs> Because you can create different worlds in the game, but they're all made up of like varying levels. So, yeah. The, 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 again, the main thing that you get a benefit from this is that you get to use the Mario power-ups. But you already get to do that with this one, so it's like, why would you just want to go through harder levels <laughs> to do what you can do up here? <laughs> you can become your own god in this world? Uh, that's true. Maybe, yeah, maybe maybe that's how it works. Is that you also you 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 get to build your own worlds and levels and stuff too, and then you just kind of wreck them against other people. The only thing is, instead of, instead of uh, you, would it be that you're the god of the world, or would it be that you're just a person living in it? Because that's why I'm saying like this is like the isekai thing, where it's like you're living in the world. So how would this work? Because <laughs> I don't think it would be just. Uh, I don't think it would just be that you're the god of the world, because you could do that with any of these, and you could instantly make them more favorable. <laughs> so, eh, I don't know. I'll took it down to Dr. Mario. So yeah, I can hardly see it against there now. I'll took it down with Dr. Mario, just to be like, eh, could be better. <laughs> I, I would rather at least live here than in here, at least. Um, Luigi's Mansion. Um... So in this one, it's it, it's not so much like in the Mario world. You you're specifically playing through. Uh, this is basically the, the the world here is instead of Luigi being like you know the one going into the mansion, you're the one who's in the mansion. So how would you like to go to a mansion where you get a little suck pack, and you have to you have to deal with all the ghosts that are living inside of it. It's a very good mansion, though. It's got a lot of money in, hidden inside of it as well. But you have to deal with all the uh, the booze and the ghosts that live inside of it. Also, if I remember, I think there's actually three separate mansions now that you can live in. So, the entire franchise of Luigi's Mansion might be kind of cool, because then now you have a better selection of, uh, of the mansions to go to and raid. S tier, because you get your own mansion. Yeah. See, that it's getting. You get your own mansion. 
but you still have to deal with ghosts. <laughs> the ghost that probably will hurt, either hurt you or haunt you or spook you. Give you the spookums. <laughs> probably try to steal your money. I don't know. I feel like it's even. I feel like it's evenly good and bad because, you, again, you have to deal with all the booze. The only thing is you do you do get a suck pack. And uh, you do get uh, some other things that could help you uh, deal with them as well. But of course, also you got to deal with all the characters like Egad and everything. <laughs> I think I think it's a C. I think it's like kind of even with like the things you could do with it. It's pretty it's pretty even with how with how much you would have to deal with in that world. I can live with that. Yeah. <laughs> Donkey Kong. Okay, so. The Donkey Kong universe is interesting. Cause what you the whole thing with Donkey Kong is that Actually this is the Donkey Kong like series as well, too, right? Yeah, because this is the franchise of Donkey Kong. So it's actually weird to put it right in the middle of the Mario Brothers now you think about it, because like Donkey Kong kinda has its own like thing going on while Mario has its own world going on. So in the world of Donkey Kong, from my remember, I haven't really played much of the games. Uh, you mainly live on islands and such. Um, you go through like jungles and wooded areas and uh, get to collect bananas and other collectibles. And uh, we also have to deal with all the uh, monsters and traps that are around. Um, you have to deal with King K. Rule. You have to deal with all their little monsters. But you get a bunch of little cool animal friends and you get some. Uh, and you get to have a whole lot of bananas. <laughs> And uh, maybe become monkey? I'm not sure. I, I feel like if you were the isekai into this world, you wouldn't become monkey. So some of the worlds, like I feel like you would have to turn into some of the main race of the people to uh, to really live there. So if we're talking about the Donkey Kong world, would you turn into monkey? <laughs> F tier. <laughs> Would you would would you become monkey if you uh, went into the Donkey Kong world? <laughs> if we, if we go by that logic, where it's like you have to kind of turn into like the main race of the people there, then yeah, maybe. No monkey. <laughs> I mean, yeah, the bananas sound cool and everything. But there's a lot of monsters and everything to deal with that I wouldn't really want to go into this world, really. There's some good in it, but I feel like I wouldn't really like to uh, specifically live here either. It's not like the worst world to be trapped into, so it's not F tier for me. But E or D, maybe. I feel like maybe if I just live in my own hut and... uh they, they won't really bother me too much. But I had to go out to collect bananas anyway, so, eh. Yeah, I think we'll make this an E tier. That's not very desirable for me. <laughs> it's not the worst thing, because there's not, like, constant things that might try to kill you all the time. But it's not very desirable, at least, I would say. Especially also because I'm not really mun much for nature. I don't really like uh, jungle and wooded areas not much anyways. And uh, everything you'd have to deal with in here is, like, ugh. Yeah. Um, now for the Paper Mario universe. Um, Paper Mario is actually a pretty cool universe. I wouldn't mind living here. Uh, you get to become flat. Uh, you're Paper Man. Uh, everything else is made out of paper and other crafting, uh, things, which is kind of cool. Um. Maybe you might get the, uh, some random power to, uh, paint things. And, uh, stick things onto other things. Something like that, I don't know. I don't know, because, uh, I don't know. Would this be assuming the world of, the, the role of Mario, or nah, nah, no. Because Mario would still be doing his own stuff. He would just be another person in this world, kind of like with all, along with all the toads and everything. <laughs> I wouldn't mind it, though. Uh, there's some, there's some enemies that would be hard to deal with. Like, it's, it's a bit, it's about the same as the Mario universe in terms of, like, all the enemies and stuff you have to deal with. I just kind of like it a little bit more. Just because of the uh, the nature of it all, but it's very very similar to Super Mario Bros. So I think it's not that far of a stretch to put them in the same tier, because they they have both of their good things and their bad things about them. 
the only thing that's different is the uh, the setting and the gimmick that goes along with it. <laughs> F tier, put them all in the shredder. <laughs> hey, I like the Mario. Un I like the Super Mario universe a lot, so I I'm okay with putting it here. <laughs> uh, the Mario and Luigi series. Okay, this one's interesting because it's, again, it's a lot like the Mario universe, but instead of uh, doing all the stuff with Bowser and everything. You uh you have some things with Bowser, but some it's mostly other people who are doing the evil doing now. And you actually have a more variety of characters, I would say, in the Mario and Luigi series than you do have in the regular Mario games. Uh again, you still have to deal with everything that goes on in those games, but I say the characters and uh the settings that they have in those in these games are a lot more desirable than probably this one. Because like you, you you look at some of the worlds that the uh, some of the worlds and towns they have in Mario and Luigi, and you would think, oh, that that's actually a pretty cool place to live. I wouldn't mind being there. <laughs> I wouldn't mind that. It's, that's the same kind of with the favorite Mario series. There's some places in there that are just like, oh, this is actually pretty cool. But again, you have to deal with monsters sometimes, and uh, you know, the, the the regular grand evil trying to take over the place. <laughs> so. I'd say in the same vein as all the other ones up here. <laughs> it's generally kind of how I think about some of these things. Like, the B tier is basically just like, oh yeah, this is a cool world to live in, but you have to deal with a lot of shit. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I think we'll put it up there with uh, everyone else there. Oh hey, fitting enough, the Olympic Games. <laughs> Mario's not like the Olympic Games. So, uh, basically, it's just like real life, but you have Mario and Sonic characters participating in the Olympic Games. And I'm assuming so, if uh, if you were to isekai into this world, you'd also be uh, one of the people taking place in these games. Um, for me personally, I would be terrible. <laughs> I would be terrible in this world, because um, I'm not very athletic or sporty at all. Uh, there's probably some stuff that I wouldn't mind doing in there, but I, I wouldn't be an athlete like the rest of the people. I wouldn't I wouldn't be able to keep up. <laughs> so as as cool as the idea of it is, I feel like I would be terrible living here. <laughs> um, but overall, I think it's actually not too bad of a world to live in because literally it's just it's just you be, you 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 are in the Olympic Games with Mario and Sonic characters. <laughs> so it's not that bad of a thing. I feel like it's good and bad because again you you had. It's, it's good for people who are like Olympic athletes and who know how to do that stuff and like to do that stuff. But for everyone else, that would be not so good. <laughs> maybe maybe you can assume the role of uh, one of the uh, one of the viewers of the game. Like you can be the one in the stand watching this all happen. So yeah, I don't know. I'd say probably C tier though. Actually, I don't know. It's a, it's a, it's a pretty good regardless. Because if you could choose, like, which role you would be in, like, the athlete or the watcher, I would say that would probably be worth it. Probably A tier, then. Because that just sounds really cool. Because if you're an athlete, you get to meet the Mario and Sonic gang and uh, be able to battle it out with them in uh, Olympic Games. Or you could just kind of watch all the things go by in the sidelines, which would be fun by itself. <laughs> I think we can do that. That's a pretty desirable world, I would say, to live in. Uh, Mario versus Donkey Kong. Okay. So, from my remember of this series, it's uh, it's a puzzle kind of game. Kind of like the Lemmings or something, in a way. Where you kind of get uh, toys from one thing to another. Um, I can't see how you would live in this world other than either being one of the toy makers that try to get the uh, toys from... Oh, in working order from one thing to another or uh, or you're like someone who's actually just watching who's who's living just in the world and just purchasing some of these things which wouldn't be bad but I feel like you can just do this in the regular world so it's not really much of a need I feel like that's not very desirable <laughs> it's not the worst thing in the world like there's not really things trying to kill you like in here but it's not very desirable at least I would say <laughs> so I'll put in D We're almost done with all the Mario worlds. I 
Yoshi. Um, so this one's a little bit different than the Mario universe, mostly because the world of Yoshi is a little bit different. Like, if you're thinking about, like, Yoshi's Island and everything like that, yeah, like a whole island full of these creatures. And, uh... They have different... I think they have, like, different enemies and diff things that they can go across as well. Um... I don't know. I feel like there's two different roles you could play in this world. Like, you can either be like the human or baby that the Yoshis are taking care of in that world, or you can be a Yoshi yourself. Which, if you can be a Yoshi, that'd be amazing. <laughs> I, would, I wouldn't mind having their, uh, their powers. Although, it would be kind of weird because, you know, you have to eat things, and then you poop them out as eggs, and you can use those said eggs as artillery. <laughs> That by itself is kind of crazy. Uh, it, it might be interesting, though. I feel like it's at least more desirable than everything down here, at least. And plus, if you're a Yoshi, you get to eat everything uh, in the site which, uh, with your massive tongue and mouth. <laughs> which, wouldn't, wouldn't that be amazing now, wouldn't it? I think this is a pretty good deal, actually. I feel like you're still, they're still like, it's not the perfect world because you still have to deal with enemies and uh, such and like the, the nature and the wild and everything like that. But it's not that bad. It's pretty good. Um, okay, so Warrior Land I know nothing about. Warrior Wear I know a little bit about. And I'm not sure how you would live in the Warrior War universe. Like, I feel like if you lived in the WarioWare universe, you would either be purchasing some of these mini games that the uh, the WarioWare guys are making, or you would be inside the video games, which is meta in, in itself. Inside of a video game, inside of a video game world, <laughs> I, I don't know. We are, I don't know. If we should get that meta with it. Uh, so eh. I honestly really don't know about these two. I don't know anything about Wario Land, really. I, I feel like it's a lot like Mario World, where it's like there's some there's some cool stuff probably in it, but you still have to deal with a lot of people. F for both. <laughs> eh. See, I like the characters of WarioWare, at least that's the only thing. Uh, but to live in a world with them? I don't know. See, I, I, I want to save the F tier. For like worlds that are just like actually horrible to live in. Like for these, I guess these would just be desirable or undesirable. So let's just chuck them in the D tier and just kind of call it. <laughs> they're, they're 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 not very like it's like you can deal with them, but it's just like why would you want to? <laughs> Basically, that's kind of what the D tier stands for. It's just like you could deal with it, but why would you want to? <laughs> Um, the Legend of Zelda, oh, this is a good world. Legend of Zelda has a really good world to it. Especially if you consider, like, all the games going on with it. Because you have everything going on from Breath of the Wild to Skyward Sword to Link to the Past to Ocarina of Time to Majora's Mask. Majora's Mask could probably be a very bad world to deal with. But, uh, <laughs> the other ones uh, wouldn't be some too bad. Uh, some of them you just, you might have to deal with, like, the uh, the occasional... Uh, monster outside um, traveling from town to town but they have they have like a good world at least uh, you got magics to do uh, in the game a good amount of weapons you can be uh, cool amount of races as well the, the races are really cool in, in that world especially also like if you could isekai into the different races that would actually make this world a lot more desirable as well because imagine if you could turn into either like a Goron or a Zora or uh, one of the Hylian people. Maybe even one of the, the Koroks <laughs> or something like that. I don't know. It would be interesting. Hey, wait a minute. Hold on. Hey, you're not a... You're, you're a lyrical song. Hello. Wait, do I have you in my... Hold on a second. <laughs> Hold on. I, I heard lyrics. I was just like, wait a minute. Is this a copyrighted song? <laughs> Excuse me one second. I still have this in my tier list. Wow. It just never played it. Interesting. Okay. Um we're going to quickly take this off the off the playlist. <laughs> I forgot this is on here. <laughs> okay. 
Wow, this whole time we haven't gone, we, we've gone through the whole playlist for like, who knows how long, and we haven't come across that song yet. That's crazy. <laughs> S here for the Doritos. <laughs> Indeed. I, I actually think the Zelda Zelda world would be amazing to uh, be in. You would just have that, you, you might have to deal with monsters, but depending on what race you are, you wouldn't need to worry about them too much. You can be the other, uh, was it, the flying people in, uh, and, uh, Breath of the Wild. The... What do they call it? The Ritos. Yeah, you can be the Ritos. <laughs> the Ritos, not Doritos. <laughs> uh, I think this is a pretty good world. Like, again, it's not perfect because you still have to deal with monsters and everything. But there's a good amount of diversity and, like, world building that was done in the Zelda universe that would make you want to live there. So I think this is a really good world to live in. <laughs> I, cer I certainly would like to try it at least. Actually, I don't know. Could we make it? Could I, I, depending on the thing that you do in the game, you could be a perfect world. Because you could have hunters go out and do some of the get some of the materials out for you, and if you want to just like live out a farm life or anything, I think it's S here. I think it's actually a, a pretty good world. I would definitely want to live there at least if I uh, if I got these guys somewhere. <laughs> Personally, I would definitely be in the Dorito race. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> Um, the Warriors game. Okay, so because this is with all the Nintendo stuff up here, I think that this is not the not the what's it what's it called the uh, it's not the like the other Warriors games. I'm pretty sure unless they have them on down here somewhere. I'm just going. I'm going through Dynasty Warriors. That's what one I was thinking of. Do we have Dynasty Warriors in here? No. Okay. So I think we can, because the uh, the only thing that gets me is that these are the two logos for the Warriors series. That is for I think the Zelda Warriors or Hyrule Warriors and Fire Emblem Warriors, which is interesting that they would put that and not uh, Dynasty Warriors. So I think we can just assume that this could just include Dynasty Warriors as a franchise as well. Cause I guess the I guess the franchise, yeah, is the Warrior series, which technically the Warrior series is Dynasty Warriors, Hyrule Warriors, and Fire Emblem Warriors. So I guess you can you can say that for that. <laughs> yeah. If I put a World of One S here, yeah. <laughs> Another tier list? Hell yeah. Isekai tier list. All right. Um. So. So the Warriors tier list. So so the Warriors uh franchise, basically all has to deal with war and tactics, um, which is not very desirable. I wouldn't want to be at least a soldier in that kind of thing. Um, you could maybe be like a general or something like that, but uh, you still have to deal with like you know, going to bases, taking down a bunch of bunch of people. Uh, capturing points, doing doing stuff in time for the war, like it's it's good if you're into the battle and into the war stuff, but you have to deal with that a lot. So I don't I don't know if it would be good for me. <laughs> I feel like that. I feel like also just me personally, like I wouldn't even if I had like some special crazy powers to do like stuff that they do in that game, I probably wouldn't uh want to, <laughs> regardless. So. I think I'm gonna put the warriors into the F tier. <laughs> uh, it's not very desirable for me. I don't like to go to war. Thank you. <laughs> I think I think we'll deal. I think we'll leave it with that at least. Because that's all I know about that world is that, or the world of like that. Is that there's just a bunch of war going on. So, hmm. unsure about that. <laughs> uh, the Metroid universe. Um. I've watched the Metroid series from a uh, from a far away standpoint. I haven't really played many of the games or like looked at what the gameplay is like for some of them. But the Metroid series looks kind of cool, though. Like it's space, so it's it's pretty cool by itself. You can go in, in the spaceships and uh, you, you you might have some like hostile planets and everything. Um, like if you went to like the uh, which I'm pretty sure this is what the world is called, the Metroid world. If you go into that world itself, 
it might not be so good. <laughs> Unless you are equipped with the stuff that, like, Samus has, you might be fine. But, again, you would still have to deal with that. So... I'd say it's even. It's it's good amounts. Like, there's some cool stuff in Metroid. But you have to deal with a lot of aliens. But the space I uh, aspect of it is really cool. So, I like it for that. Yeah, I'd say you probably see all things considered, really. <laughs> okay. Kirby. Oh, Kirby universe would be interesting. Because um, Kirby doesn't have any humans, right? Kirby doesn't have a human race on their, like, main planet. Uh, so what would you be? <laughs> would you be a Waddle D? Would you be one of the uh, Kirby race? One of the little puffball races? <laughs> Is that mean that we get suck powers? <laughs> <laughs> Does it mean we get the power of suck? Oh crap, that was close. Um, hmm. See, the, the, the world of Kirby is very cute and very charming, but there's a lot of shit that goes around in the Kirby universe. Because uh, not only do you, you got all the enemies going around and everywhere and doing their things, but uh, you got uh, you also got Kirby just basically almost just casually destroying worlds at a moment's notice. <laughs> so, uh, huh? It's very it's a very interesting world to think about uh, living in, at least. Like, I would want to live in it just to see what it's like. But I'm not sure if it would be the best to be in. Some of it seems peaceful, but some of it also seems very chaotic as well at the same time. So it's like... I'd say B. I'd say it's about in the same line as everything here. Probably. It would, it would be interesting for sure, though. That's all I can really say about that. It would be interesting. Uh, the Star Fox universe. I don't know much about Star Fox at all, honestly. Um, I I know the, as much of the lore and everything that's been kind of explained in Smash Brothers. That's about it. Um, so what I know about them is that they are... They, they are like space pirates or something like that. I think they're what it's called. So they go around in spaceships and uh, battle it out in starships, um, go on to different planets, and uh, Star Fox Universe itself seems kind of cool, because not only do you get to fly around in spaceships, you also have, everything is like a cool like furry race as well, so you have like all a bunch of people that are like actually like different animals and stuff, piloting all of these vehicles. It sounds really cool, honestly. But I'm unsure. I'm unsure if it would be like a good world to live in, because again, like if you if you are like one of the people who uh, pilot a starship, you have to deal with other space pirates, maybe trying to uh, blow you out. <laughs> um, if anything, if if I, if I were living in this world, I'd probably be like, I'd I'd probably be like on like one of like little carriers or something by like a, like a colony of people. Um, I probably wouldn't be a space pirate. I probably would be like, I'll just be one of the people living in space, just uh, along with the other race. Like, if, if that, in that case, that's actually a really cool world. You might have to deal with some space pirates coming and raiding you, but uh, I think it would be pretty good though. I'd say A tier. Maybe S tier. I'm not sure. Because the idea, because idea of the world really kind of appeals to me as well, as a furry as well. <laughs> because I am a furry, I have to put it in there. <laughs> there you go. Because I am a furry, I have to put it in S tier. <laughs> uh, honestly, it would, be, it would be interesting though. I would like being like a cat person living in this world. It'd be great. <laughs> living in space, like sci-fi, really appeals to me, and. The furry stuff really appeals to me as well, so 
This guy is just the best of all the worlds, right? You just had to deal with space pirates. <laughs> it's the only thing. <laughs> um, okay. Now all the Pokemon series here. Okay. Which we actually don't have any Pokemon games to deal with. We only have the regular Pokemon series, uh, the Mystery Dungeon series, the Stadium series, and the Snap series. Okay. Which they do have like their own kind of lore and worlds behind them, so they can, they're all technically different. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, Pokemon would be amazing to live in. This is going to S tier, no questions asked. Um, not only do you get to live in the world of Pokemon, but you get to breed Pokemon. You get to capture Pokemon. You get to have Pokemon become your friends. You can, uh, you can, like, go around and, uh, use them in battles and, or just, uh, take them in, or just kind of have just, like, a chill life with them. Just kind of make them your pets. They're your super-powered pets. <laughs> Which by itself sounds amazing. <laughs> like, there's not really much of a downside either. Like, the the only downside is you have to deal with ri with like gang activity, like uh, Team Rocket, all the teams basically in the games. Um, maybe the occasional super villain trying to destroy the world and with his super Pokemon, but you know, <laughs> you got you got the heroes and everything, the world to deal with that. You you, you won't have to really worry about too much about those. <laughs> um, also, the fucking characters. There's so many good characters in Pokemon that like i would love to meet some of them and like actually go to like gyms and just to just to kind of like pal it out with some of them <laughs> like it would just be a very cool world to live in i think it'd be amazing uh, i think blow uh, here's a sin yes indeed if you if you what would be your main pet or your main pokemon pansy if you live in this world mine would be a jolteon i feel like a jolteon is like the perfect pet for me <laughs> Because, like, not only are they, like, a small uh, dog-like, fox-like creature, but they also have uh, lightning powers, which is very nice for me. And their design is really cool, too. <laughs> they would be, like, my main pet. A Charizard and an Eevee. Okay. Nice nice choices, yeah. Because Charizard would be good to fly around on and everything. Um, and then the Eevee would be, like, uh, a nice little cute little pet. They could turn into anything, really, too. <laughs> Or just make it a uh, base Eevee uh, and keep it with the uh, Evo Stone. <laughs> but yeah, just imagine living in that world. You turn 13 and your parents are like, all right, time to become a trainer. <laughs> Go out there <laughs> and uh, wreck shit with your new Pokemon. <laughs> It'd be amazing. Um, Mystery Dungeon. So the thing with the Mystery Dungeon is uh, you're you're actually Pokemon. And you're uh, going through different dungeons, collecting stuff for. Uh, you're uh, you're like uh, collecting stuff for like your uh, your group or your rangers base and stuff. You're you're like uh, you're like your own like ranger team, but the catch is that you are a Pokemon. So basically, this game is already an isekai because I'm pretty sure you were supposed to be a human. And you you got transferred into a Pokemon's conscious, and you can hear you can hear and understand other Pokemon as if they were speaking English. So this game already kind of falls into the Isekai world uh, itself. <laughs> um, to be a Pokemon would actually be pretty amazing. I gotta say, it would be pretty amazing. <laughs> I, I wouldn't mind like being the Jolteon and uh, going out using my lightning and uh, on on other Pokemon. And uh, just uh, getting stuff for the the collective of the base and everything, <laughs> it'd be really nice. I, I I feel like this this is like a really good world to live in if you if you if you want to be a Pokemon. <laughs> so yeah, um, Stadium I have no idea about. <laughs> I don't know anything about the Stadium series. Um, I'd assume it's just like Pokemon, except there's a more emphasis on like Colosseum stuff and battles or something like that, right? Am I am I right on that assumption? Here, let me uh Actually let me let me let me look this up real quickly. Uh Stadium er, Pokemon Stadium. All right, um, strategy game based on what Nintendo. Oh, it's a strategy video game. Okay, so that's why it's different. Okay. Uh... 
does not have a storyline or well-defined world. <laughs> Meaning it's not considered a role-playing game. Instead, the challenge is the player to succeed in trainer battles at the stadium, a tournament consisting of four cups. Okay. All right. So the world in this case, because they don't have a really defined, as they say in the wiki, is you 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 just battle with Pokemon in a stadium. <laughs> so it is exactly what I thought it was. Okay. It's exactly what I thought it was. So Firefox Pog. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> I always use Firefox. Um, so yeah, this is just the world of Pokemon, but you are instead of basically uh, purely a trainer and you're trying to uh, get to the top of all the stadiums in the world. <laughs> so in that case, that's, it's still not bad. Like, I still, I still feel like that would be fun to do. So I would still kind of consider it up in the S tier as well with every other Pokemon thing. Because you still get to raise Pokemon and kind of train them to be like the best that they can be. And then uh, test them out in battle of, against other people. <laughs> Can't ever trust Chrome. No, indeed not. <laughs> Especially also not a base uh, explorer. <laughs> the only reason you use base explorer is to download the other browsers. <laughs> um, Pokemon Snap. So Pokemon Snap is an interesting world or thing to think about. Because, like, it's basically just the Pokemon universe. But instead of battling and raising Pokemon and training everything like they, like you usually do, uh, you work with, uh, you, you work with the professors to go out on, like, safari trips and take a bunch of pictures of different Pokemon that are in the world. Which, that is not that bad. I would rather raise them. Uh, or have, like, a my own buddy with them, which I feel like if I Isekai into this world, I could just do that. I could still have a Pokemon and be a Pokemon photographer. <laughs> so, it's basically, yeah, you, 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 you are still in the world of Pokemon, but... Your job, your main job is to work with the professors and get, uh, study up on Pokemon, research them, take pictures of them so they can further their Pokedex entries. <laughs> you get to see them in their natural habitats. <laughs> and you're safely inside a little bubble shield, so that's, that's very nice. <laughs> yeah, there's not really any downsides to being that, honestly. You still get to be around Pokemon, and you can still have Pokemon. And you still be safe inside. Uh, you'd be safe against all of them if you're uh, going on their safari trip. So, and you get paid. So, uh, yay! <laughs> Pretty good deal, if I say so myself. <laughs> N64 version is based. Oh yeah, <laughs> indeed. Yeah, they they got the new Pokemon Snap, which is what uh, I think this one might be. But yeah. All right, uh, mother. Or the Earthbound series, if you're English or whatever. I don't know. I, I, it goes either way, I know. Um, I don't know anything about the Mother series <laughs> or the uh, or the Earthbound series. Um, I just know of it from Smash Brothers. Like I can also tell that a lot of these top ones were picked because of Smash Brothers. <laughs> so uh, most of what I know is that. The, you, you know, the most of the world is like very strange and uh, weird. Uh, you got some weird monsters going around and things going about your town, but you also got like uh, creatures, or no, you, you got powers that you can use as well uh, with the PSI abilities and everything like that. Uh, for it's a role playing game, so I gotta imagine that the world and the characters and everything is really built out to be like a really cool world. So I hate to put it in anything less than like a S or A tier, honestly, because I feel like it's just a it's a really cool world. I just know nothing about it. I feel like like I feel like most people would want to live in this world, right? Maybe maybe it's just the 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 main thing that would maybe deter them is like all the baddies and weirdness going on with it. So I think to be safe, I'll put it in A tier. To be like this is a cool world that you would love to live in, but you just had to deal with a lot of weird and interesting stuff. Mother goes into F. Oh, is there a reason for this pansy? Is it, is it a spite, maybe? 
as the new Pokemon Snap Fat is done, I can play the original like a cool kid. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Go back to the original. I, I still, I like the new one though a lot too because they, uh, it looks really nice, which kind of helps with the, uh, the photography aspect. You can make some really cute photos with that. <laughs> is there a reason that you say though, F? <laughs> oh, yeah. Dun, 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 dun. If I don't know what the world is like, I put it into F. <laughs> it goes there unless I have a reason to put it in a higher tier. I mean, that's fair. That's fair. But, again, the way I'm doing this tier list is... I'm saving the F tier for, like, worlds that you would just want to stay the hell away from. <laughs> like, I at least feel like there's good things in Mother from what I know about it. I just haven't experienced it myself to know what exactly it is. But I would be curious to try it out at least. I wouldn't mind just going into a blind uh, as an isekai uh, thingy. <laughs> F-Zero. Um, the only thing I know about this world is uh, there are people that go really fast in their cars. Like insane speeds, like probably over 100 miles uh, average. Uh, that's... Um, there's other games that I think actually flesh out a world for this uh, series, but the main thing I know is that there, uh, you, a lot of people are racers. They go very, very fast on their tracks. Um, there's like a futuristic standpoint to it. I mean, the world itself might be kind of cool because I feel like the world itself is kind of like slightly futuristic because they have like cars that can go this fast uh, safely. <laughs> A safely I say <laughs> but uh, uh I feel like it's only really good if you're a racer um maybe if you I don't know anything else about the world so I couldn't really say anything else um besides that I feel like there's good stuff in it though so I'm gonna be safe and put it into B tier to kind of be like there might be some cool stuff in this. <laughs> I, I just looking at the setting from what I remember of of Zero, I feel like it would be a night any little world to live in. You just uh, it seems kind of like slightly futuristic, which is kind of nice. And also you get to see cool high speed races, so I guess that's a plus as well. <laughs> Ice climbers goes to F because that the game is so boring. <laughs> Plus, I hate the idea of climbing in the snow, yeah. I, I have to agree with you, Pansy. I don't like the idea of climbing the mountains either. Um, you also got enemies and stuff that try to try to kill you. Um, drakes. Um, polar bears, I guess, with sunglasses. Um, a lot of ice, a lot of snow, a lot of climbing. Which, uh, you know me, I am very athletic. <laughs> and I love the cold. I say sarcastically. <laughs> so, yeah, we can put that in the F tier and uh, just be done with it. <laughs> easy question there. <laughs> now, um, slightly not so easy question, Fire Emblem. Um, the only things I know about the Fire Emblem universe is from Awakening and from uh, a little bit of Three Houses as well. For what I know, there's a lot of worldly disputes and things going on and war so it's like it's kind of like that if the, this this one but i feel like it's not all about war because there's still like places in the world that are like uh protected and untouched or like you can live peacefully in or if you wanted to be a unit for an army they have a good amount of uh uses for you uh to be to because uh in this world you not only have uh your human characters you also have i think waverns uh, dragons, maybe even. Uh, you get to cast some magics. Um, and yeah. I feel, I feel like there's like a, good, a cool amount of stuff in this world that you would probably actually be kind of interested in living here. Like, it's, it's, a, it's a cool little fantasy world, I would say, regardless. You just might have to deal with the occasional uh, brigand or bandit group trying to raid the town. 
and or uh, the possibility of war <laughs> uh, coming in to siege some of your plays as well. But a lot of the characters are really good too, though. Like, Fire Emblem characters are amazing. Amazingly written and amazingly developed. That's something I actually wouldn't mind meeting and being friends with. I would just have to be a unit in the army and then... Uh, <laughs> then I could be more in, in friends with them and fight with them on the battlefield. Which, if I was a magic user, I probably wouldn't mind that. That's a B. Oh god, you can't even see it anymore. Yeah, it's it, it's just that gray. Wow. You can't even see it on the backdrop. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Yeah, I would say probably... Actually, A tier, maybe. Mm. Yeah, let's keep it in A tier, actually. I think that's fine. Okay. Um, Kid Icarus. I also rarely know anything about the series other than uh, there is a goddess, uh, there is a demon goddess, or like a, someone from hell. Um, you, you have angels and demon people shooting things at each other and a lot of weird creatures that you can also shoot at around the world. Um, so if you're isekai into this world, I would assume that you're an angel boy like Pit. So maybe you get to do some of the cool stuff that Pit. I, don't, but I think Pit has actually like a good reason why he has some of the weapons and stuff that he does. So I feel you need like a training or something in order to actually do any of that. Um, I'm not sure. I'll be safe and put in average, because like I feel like there's good things in the Kid Icarus world, but I feel like there's a good amount of stuff that's probably not uh, very desirable at either. So I'll be safe and just put it in the middle. <laughs> just be like, yeah, it, it could be good, it could be bad, I don't know. <laughs> oh wait, you, you, you say S tier for uh, Kid Icarus? Is it because of Palutena? <laughs> Is it because of Palutena? <laughs> See now, if the whole thing was that you just... You're just an angel person that lives with Palutena. I can see that being pretty desirable. But I'm unsure if Palutena would want you to do anything for her. In terms of uh, your angel duties or whatever. So... That's why I'm just like being like safe and just putting into S tier. <laughs> Obviously, yeah. See, if it was just that, yeah, it would be an S tier, because then you get to spend your whole your whole day with Palutena as your main goddess. But I'm unsure. I'm, I don't know anything about the game, so I don't want to assume anything. <laughs> okay. Uh, Pikmin. Okay, so Pikmin would be a weird one. I'm assuming that you would just be the race that Alamar and everyone else is. So, the whole idea with Pikmin, because I've seen gameplay of this, I've seen a good extensive amount of gameplay of this, so I know what it's like. So you go onto this alien world with all these people called Pikmin, and you can basically kind of just order them around to kind of do your bidding. Um, your main thing is that you're, you're a space person trying to collect, uh, trying to collect things for your base um, and maybe even relics from the old world. Um, trying to survive on the planet while, uh, while also house while using, while using the power of the Pikmin. I mean, I wouldn't mind having an army of little Pikmin people, uh, to, uh, do my biddings, but, uh, there's a lot of scary monsters in that game. Uh, especially when they're so giant, because, uh, you're a very tiny person living on this world that, uh, Everything is a lot more bigger than you. So it's a little scary in that aspect. Uh, I'd say it's probably livable. There's good things about it, but I feel like there's a lot of bad things also with it. <laughs> so I'll put it in the C tier. Game is too weird throwing into F. <laughs> if there is a beautiful god that's worth worshipping, I want to be in that world. I understand that, Pansy. I can understand that, yeah. Like, like, like I said, I would feel like I'd want to know more about Kid Icarus, uh, before making any assumptions on, like, if I want to live in that world. But 
based on Palatine alone, yeah, she'd be nice. She, she, she'd be nice to kind of go to a, a heaven of sorts into. <laughs> oh, nice. We got the uh, Chow Race Pog, yeah. <laughs> Chow Race Pog. Ugh. It would, it would be even better if we just got into the Sonic games, but I'll take the Animal Crossing games. It has the same kind of vibe to it, I would say. <laughs> so Animal Crossing, um, easy S tier, because uh, you're just a you're, you're you're just a human living among animals, um, that, and you you get you get like a bunch of activities you get to do. You got different animals that stop by for different events. Uh, you can go fishing. You can uh, collect shells. You can. Uh, raise and farm fruits and stuff on the island including trees worth uh that drop actual money which is kind of funny um collect a bunch of fossils and stuff for the uh, museum to help it grow like basically everything you do in animal crossing is basically just you living in the world already like <laughs> there's not much that that really separates it from the real world other than just not being in it <laughs> so and if everything you like to do in Animal Crossing, you do in, if you got isekai into it. There's not much of a difference. Like, it's a, it's a, it's basically a perfect world. <laughs> Especially uh, depending which uh, Animal Crossing you go to, too. Because you got some that are towns, you got some that are cities. You got some that you can go onto an island for. You can become the mayor <laughs> in one. <laughs> well, actually, I don't know. Actually, yeah, any character that has, like, a cousin character, I feel like you can you can step yourself into that character's role. Probably. Unless they're, like, clearly defined. <laughs> so, yeah. Animal Crossing, easy. Easy S here. Would love to live in that world, hell yeah. Uh, Punch-Out, um... I mean... Well, you get, you, you get some cool boxing matches that appear. I mean, again, if you're in the boxing... Might be kind of cool, but you got some boxing matches that appear in your uh, in your town. Um, other than that, I don't think any of the world around it is like that interesting. So personally, it's like it's a world I could live in, but I wouldn't want to. <laughs> so with that in mind, is going into D. <laughs> like you could live in Punch Out if you really wanted to, but why would you? <laughs> Unless you were really into boxing. <laughs> Punch out is a pretty much this world boring F tier next. <laughs> yeah, see, see, your F tiers are basically my D tiers, fancy. Because F tier, like I said, like the the tiers below D tier here are basically like, oh god, this this world is kind of difficult to deal with, but that has some good in it. Whereas F is like, oh god, this world is very difficult to deal with, and I don't want to be in it at all. <laughs> D is just like you could live here, but you wouldn't really want to. <laughs> you could live here without any problems. But why would you? <laughs> um, Xenoblade. Um, Xenoblade actually looks kind of cool. Xenoblade. I have, I know nothing about the game except for like what Shell and Pyro and Mithra do. But yeah, they, it looks pretty cool. Um, you got like some furry races I think in there. Um, you got I think yeah I think you got like magic abilities and stuff that people can do as well. Um. If you wanted to pick up the the, the little blade, like the, the the world, I don't know anything about the game, but the world looks really cool. You might just have to deal with like some like uh, some monsters and or metal uh, abominations or something like that, <laughs> from what I remember. Um, I feel like it'd be nice though. I'm assuming a tier for this one. Same with like the mother series. I feel like it would kind of fit in there. Hey, we agree with the warrior and ice climber. Yeah, true. Yeah, because because again, these worlds would be terrible to deal with. Like, you get to climb a mountain and then you get to go to war. <laughs> There's not much reason for you to want to go here. <laughs> um, duck hunt. Okay, so again, if you're a hunter, nice world to live in. But uh. You got a shit-eating dog who likes to giggle at you whenever you miss your shots. Um, and yeah, you're, you're just a hunter. <laughs> I, uh, 
Yeah, I wouldn't want to live in Duck Hunt World. <laughs> I wouldn't want to live in Duck Hunt World. I don't know about you, but, uh... No, thank you. <laughs> dog tear is a piece of shit. Yeah, dog is a piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, cheating dog who laughs at you whenever you miss your shots. <laughs> Splatoon, I love to live in. No questions asked. <laughs> Splatoon is an amazing world to live in, because you got the style of it. Um, this is actually one of the, uh, the games that actually made me want to make this tier list. Because you get to live in a world of, like, squid people. You you get to fire ink uh, in, like, these little splat uh, showdowns between people. And uh, it's all perfectly harmless. Like, as far as I can tell, it's basically harmless. Because you just explode into ink, and then your little spirit goes back to a uh, respawn point where you can just reanimate back into your team's ink but yeah it's 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 pretty cool though again you might have to deal with some like baddies but like they're not even that much of a thing to deal with like if you if you leave everything to the agents and like the big people you can live in splatoon perfectly fine just doing splat battles with everyone it would be an amazing world to live in D to me because getting covered in ink all the time would be an absolute pain. Well, see, here's the thing, Panty. You are the ink. <laughs> so, so I mean, I mean, yeah, you're 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 constantly like sticky. So maybe that one might be a little bit weird. But I personally like all the ink people, so I wouldn't mind living here at all. <laughs> also, I like the style and everything, and uh, I would like to go to the concerts of uh, the uh, Squid Sisters and Off the Hook as well. I would love to see them in concert. <laughs> So personally, yeah, that's here for me. I changed my mind, go to E instead. <laughs> I can understand it, Fancy though. I can understand it. <laughs> Arms. Um This is a weird one to me. Cause I am not sure if all the people in the world of arms have the weird arm power or if it's only like a select few. So either you would be someone who lives in this world with arm people. And you get to see like the tournaments that go on with them, which is kind of funny and interesting to think about by itself. But also the characters are kind of cool too, so. But, or you could be the arm character themselves, participate in some of these beat em up tournaments with your stretchy arm powers. And uh, maybe have some weird and cool stuff that you can do with that as well. I feel like this is at least like a cool world to live in, but I feel like it's not the perfect world. So I'll put an A. I feel like it's like it's it's an interesting world that I wouldn't mind visiting. But uh I'm unsure if I Like I could probably deal with living in there at least. It'd be it would be interesting. I, I'm curious mostly. It's like the same thing with Yoshi, like I'm curious of what it would be like to be in there. <laughs> Alright. So we've gone through a lot of games already. How many more do we have to go through? Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> we might be here for a while. I think this will take the whole stream, honestly. Um, Rhythm Haven. Um, how would you... I, I don't know. This is a weird world to live in. How would you live in this? Um, basically, everything goes to the beat. And, uh... I mean, it seems like a lot of the stuff in this is very basic and very, but also some of the stuff is very, very weird. Everything kind of just revolves in going into the world, going around with the world. I'm unsure. I'm going to say no just because I don't, I don't know what you would do here. I, I don't know how this would work. I just don't know what you would do here. Corey, we've been here for an over an hour. We barely even touched the list. I think we should speed up the process a bit. Yeah, I I, I feel like we're, there's a couple of easy ones, honestly, that we can probably do. But uh, I, I still I still kind of want to go through it like this. Uh, TV Robo. I don't know much about the TV Robo series other than uh, you're a very tiny robot that uh goes around a very small uh or very giant world. Um. I think you're like in like some kids like room or something and you're trying to like plug everything in or something. I don't know. I, if... Where'd I put Pikmin actually? 
because it's kind of the same as Pikmin to me in my in my mind because you're both like really tiny people that you might have to deal with the dangers of the world around you so it's like yeah yeah I'd say I'd say probably right there um excite bike it's it's basically just motorsports <laughs> it's just it's just motorsports <laughs> I don't know. It, it, it's just motorsports. Like, there's not much of the that's different from here than the regular world. I actually I, here 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 like we can we can agree on some of the things here now with this pansy because I feel like if it's not that much different from the real world, we can move it to F tier. Because it's like if these are things that you could just do in real life now, then it's like there's not a point to going to these worlds at all. So. Just chuck them into F tier. <laughs> if they're not even that interesting. Like the whole point in some of these video game worlds is that they're interesting enough that at a point that you'd like to live in them. But if they're just stuff that you could already do, it's just like, what's even the point? <laughs> oh, I think I froze a bit on my end. Actually, my, my bars are still fine. I think it's just my thing. Okay, that's yeah, just my thing. <laughs> it was just my stream for, uh, on my phone that I was looking at. Donk, donk. <laughs> Sorry if I'm bonking the mic a lot. <laughs> uh, balloon fight. Um, this is an interesting one actually because the the main sport of this one is that you're on a you're on these floating balloons, and you got and your whole point is to try to pop the other person's balloon. Um, it would be it would be an interesting game. I feel like it would be slightly dangerous to do uh, reenact though, because uh. What if some of the things that they're throwing to pop of your balloons uh, accidentally hits you instead? Yeah, I don't know about that. Hmm. I'm gonna put it into E, because I again I feel maybe maybe like because it would be good for you if you're what in it, but like maybe you could watch the balloon fights happen. It would be interesting. Uh, it's still not very desirable though, so I think e putting in E would be fine though. Like there's some interesting things with it, but like, eh. it's mostly just an F for me. Uh, at some point, actually, I might have to make a I don't know this game tier list because Jesus Christ, there's actually some two franchises that are coming up that I don't know anything about. Um, Golden Sun. I've heard I've heard interesting things about. Should, should, should we do that actually? Should, should we try to get through more of the tier list a little bit faster by just making a not played tier list again? <laughs> should we make a not t uh, a not played tier? Because like some of these games I put up here, I don't even know that much. Like I don't know enough about Xenoblade. I don't know enough about Mother. I don't know anything about Arms or F Zero. And I feel like I've been dipping on them a lot just because I was trying to like dig into my mind of like what they are, but I could just. Be quick about it and just put them into a uh, not played tier list. Yeah, I think so too. Let's add, let's add a new let's add a new one. <laughs> All right. All right. It's taken. It's taken this long into the. Uh, into the stream about a good almost uh hour and a half but we have finally made the heaven play tier <laughs> so let's just chuck everything that we are not sure about and here and call it there so i'm very sorry for all the xenoblade and mother fans out there and for all the arms fans and for the f-zero fans and for the chibi robo fans i know another about pigman i can worry about that one though um Metroid, I can kind of see as well too, so I'm okay with that as in that tier as well. Uh, um, all right. Ice climber, yeah. Duck on, yeah. And then punch out. So. See, see, see. Technically, also, it's just like I, I haven't played it, but I know about the world enough so I can actually like. Actually, instead of having played, we should we should call this unsure. There you go. The unsure 
slash don't know game because for like all the games i'm like i don't know about or that i'm not really sure of <laughs> all the games i don't know or i'm um, unsure about so all right let's check every let's let's go through this real quickly and just chuck everything that we don't know yet i had never heard about arms until today oh yeah really the arms was a uh they, they were they were they had a character for smash um but they're like yeah they're like a brawler game they use little newly arms uh Da 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 da. Advanced Wars. Um, this is war, as far as I can tell. With it again, I'm just gonna actually check it out here, because as far as I know about it, it's just basically a war with tanks and everything and everything like that. I don't know if you'd want to live in there. Uh, let me. I'm just gonna scroll. I'm just going through real quickly to be like, which ones have I not played? Uh, they, they chucked the Wii Sports Fit and Party games into one. Uh, that's funny. <laughs> okay. Um, I haven't played Astral Chain yet, but it looks really cool. Uh, Wonderful 101. A river and the dry land. <laughs> uh, Knights. I haven't played Knights yet. I think I can at least say something about uh, Monkey Ball, because I've seen things enough about it. Crazy taxi. I feel like that'd be chaos. Streets of Rage, eh. Alex Kidd, I know nothing about. Golden Axe, I know nothing about. Outrun, I think it's just, it's just, uh, there might be a world around it, but I think, I think it's just racing, as far as I remember. Yakuza. I know a good amount about that, actually. Shenmue. Maybe. We'll, we'll, we'll see when we come across him, actually. When we actually come across him. At, uh, oh, that's Shin Megami Tensei. I haven't actually played those ones yet, so I'm not sure. I played Persona 5, though. Uh, Panda Dragoon. <laughs> mm. Yeah, again, I don't know enough. Samba Amigo, no. Uh, Virtual Fighter. Daytona. It's just racing. <laughs> it's just racing. <laughs> uh, I'm I'm trying to pick out some like easy ones that I know of. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't know about the Devil May Cry series to say anything about it, so I'm just gonna chuck it down there as well. Uh, same with the Tales of. Digimon might be cool, though. I've seen a good amount of that, actually. Uh, something, Joe. I'm pretty sure I haven't played whatever the hell this is. You can barely see some of these because they are just PNGs. I get the black. <laughs> uh, I can't even tell what some of these are, actually, now I think about it. I might actually have to zoom in on some of these because I can't even read some of them. Tomb Raider. I actually don't know about the Tomb Raider series yet. <laughs> or the Life is Strange series. I haven't played nothing to it yet. Trials of Mana, same. Uh... Dance Revolution is here too. I don't know what the hell Gex is. Forza again. It's just, it's just racing. <laughs> it's just racing. Lucky, super Lucky's Tale. Don't know anything about that one. Or Sunset. Or Hellblade. Is that Ori? I think that's Ori. Solitaire Minesweeper. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I don't know anything about Battletoads. Killer Instincts, nah. Perfect Dark. Uh, yeah. 
can at least say something about that, I think, at least. Like, if I know about the world, I'll keep it. Even if I haven't played the game. If I know what you would basically do in it, then I can keep it in. Gran Turismo, it's... It's just racing. <laughs> Every, it, there's basically just racing games at this point. There's a lot of racing games out there, actually. I think the trial, yeah, the trials is like the biking one, right? Too. This is basically motorsports as well. <laughs> Candy Crush. I don't know not much about the pitfall. Uh, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. It's just, it's just skateboarding. <laughs> It's just skateboarding. <laughs> I feel so bad for them too, because some of these are like really good games, but it's because they work like as a video game. If you if you tried to go into their world, it just it's just what you do in real life. <laughs> it's just what you could do in real life. SSX, yeah. Again, it's just snowboarding. Rock band, it's just it's just a rock band. <laughs> A lot of these are just gimmicks of just like things that work with that. Guitar Hero. <laughs> it's funny too because I kind of have to put them in this here because of just like, you know. Well, actually, Guitar Hero actually kind of has some interesting lore behind it now because like there's like demons and stuff and there's like the rock god and everything. I wouldn't mind living in the world of Guitar Hero, honestly. <laughs> Well, I had to deal with Satan, but yeah, I wouldn't mind living in that. There's some crazy shit that goes on in Guitar Hero, man. It, it, rock Band is like, you know, you, you go on a regular tour uh, through the uh, through the world um, as a rock band. But Guitar Hero, you just go through some crazy shit. Like, you get power-ups. Um, you got... You can, uh... You, you meet Satan. Uh, you, uh... <laughs> you have to... You, you had to, like, fight against a bunch of, like, uh, you had, like, demon bands, like, this giant titan that is also a thing of rock. I think it's, I think, I think it was called the demon or something like that. I don't remember. It's, it's crazy, man. It's crazy shit. <laughs> Persona 5 goes into F tier. How dare you, sir? <laughs> How dare you, sir? <laughs> like how Solitaire has its own thing. Yeah. Uh, Just Dance. It's... Guess what it is? It's just dancing. <laughs> uh, Connect has its own thing too. It, it does have its own series, actually. Yeah. Uh, oh god, FNAF. I don't even want. To, I don't even want to. Da da. Mm -mm -mm. I think we can kind of just rush them. Maybe. We'll, we'll, we'll throw more into the unsure tier if we come across them, but I think we can kind of judge the rest of these now. Um, pilot wings. Um, you get to fly around in a... This is, again, this is another thing where it's just like, oh, you just get to fly around in a little ship. Yeah, it's just a... Uh... <laughs> I mean, the world of... The world that you go into with pilings might be kind of interesting, the Woohoo Island by itself, but that's more in line with this world than this world. So, yeah, not really. Um, brain Age of Brain Thing. Ow, how would you. How would you th th this, this, there's not a world for this. Can we. Can, I think. I think. Could we just do that, actually? Could we just put them into F tier? They're just like, yeah, there's not even a defined world for this. I think we can just do that. <laughs> same, same with, like, the Miis. Like, like this is just the me thing. Like, there's the Wii stuff. Like, the Wii Sports Fit and Party stuff. Like, that actually has, like, kind of some stuff in it. But this is just the Miis. I can't think of any, like, me specific games either that aren't, like, the Wii games. So, it's, yeah. And not, not clear enough. Um, Smash Brothers, though. Um, I mean, it'd be interesting living in the Smash Brothers world. I don't know how it would work, because it's technically a collage of a bunch of different worlds all together. Um, I guess maybe if you take, like, the canon stuff, like uh, the battlefields and uh, all the items and everything in over there. 
Maybe if your maybe if your whole thing is like you you're participating in the tournament with them. If you're participating in the tournament, it might not be so desirable because like you have to deal with fighting everyone, <laughs> and some of those characters are scary. Um, the characters might be interesting to interact with, but uh, maybe if you're like an onlooker for the tournament or something that goes on, that would be interesting to watch. Like I wouldn't mind seeing the characters that go on with this actually fight it out. So, eh, we'll make it an S tier, I think. Just for the fact that if you could choose to be a, uh, if you could choose to be a, a standby or goer, or even maybe even a fighter if you wanted to get like your own things. But like, what, 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 what thing would you hail from? You'd be hailing from your world, basically, right? So, there's not really much of a point of being a fighter. You just watch all the tournaments. <laughs> uh... It would make sense if they had Miitopia or Tamodachi life instead of just Mii's. You know, that's true. Do they even have Tamodachi in here? I don't even... I don't know if they have the Tamodachi life series in here or not. We'll see if they do if we get if they, we get to it. Uh, Wii Sports, Fit, or Party. Um, so the Wii Sports games are kind of cool. They have, they have, a, they have the Woohoo Island, which is kind of like a cool little place to be on. Uh, they got a bunch of little recreational stuff to do there as well. Um... Fit and party. I don't know anything about Wii Party, but most of what I know from Wii Sports, it's actually pretty cool. Like, it's like a, it's basically just an island resort. Like, I would actually, I wouldn't mind living on Woohoo Island. That'd be cool. <laughs> just doing all the different stuff there. I feel like Woohoo Island, though, is a, is a place that could live that, or like, it, it's a thing that you could do at the same, it's funny too, this is either an S tier or an F tier, honestly, because like, a lot of the stuff that you can do here, you can do in real life. You just have to go to an actual resort. <laughs> it's just the Woohoo, Woohoo Island is actually its own, like, thing. That's kind of like, why I would like, I would just like to go to Woohoo Island by itself. <laughs> I, th I think just for the sake that there is the Woohoo Island, you could. Like, if there, if, the, if it was just the sports... It would probably be an F tier because you know you can do everything already in real life, but I wouldn't mind going to Woohoo Island. Uh, Bayonetta, um, this is a weird world to live in. Um, also, I'm assuming if you lived in this world, you would be a human. You wouldn't be a witch. <laughs> you could maybe be a witch. I don't know. Maybe they allow you to turn into a witch and in going into this world or something. I don't know. Uh, so you'd have to deal with a lot of angels if you were a witch, though. And if you're just a human, you would, you'd have to deal with, like, supernatural stuff with, like, witches and stuff going around, too, so. I feel like it's even. I feel like it's kind of, like, in the middle of, like, where it could be. Witches. Alright. Hold on. There you go. Okay. Sonic the Hedgehog, I would like to live in this world. Uh, to be perfectly fair, I would love to live in this world. <laughs> Mostly because of the fact that I'm pretty sure a lot of the Sonic characters kind of have their own abilities, so I would, would I'd be curious to see if I would get my own ability as well, if I was a Mobian, or if I would just, uh, if I would just be a neutral character kind of living among them. Either way, I would definitely be a cat, <laughs> as, as, as for usual. Chow's alone puts on like an S here, yeah indeed. I would I would mind just having a Chow Garden. Like I would I would be either cream or cheese or to call just raising a Chow Garden. <laughs> that would be my life. <laughs> uh Sonic Racing. Alright, so again, uh Mario Kart uh thing with this uh tier. Uh basically just like the it's just like Sonic, but it's a card game, so you get to race against uh, Sonic characters as well. Again, I like carding games, but you have to deal with all the power-ups that people throw at you. So... A tier. <laughs> I, I, I think it's just like, yeah, just slightly below, just because, like, again, it's, it's in the same vein of it. Uh, Sonic Riders. Um, kind of like Sonic Racing, except you have a hoverboard. <laughs> and I'm not talking like a hoverboard. I'm talking like an actual like hovering board that floats off the ground. <laughs> uh, the world of Sonic Riders is actually kind of cool. Not gonna lie, it's it's pretty stylish and pretty futuristic and everything. Um, 
I wouldn't mind living in it just to see like the races that people do. Like I'm not even sure if I would participate in it. But I wouldn't mind just being in there. Hmm. I don't know. Hmm. We'll put in an A tier, just be safe. I'm unsure about it. They're kind of like in the same vein, I guess. <laughs> Garfield card deserves an S tier. Is Garfield card the thing in here? Did you see that in here? <laughs> or is that is that something in uh, one of the Sonic Racings? <laughs> uh, Sonic Boom. Um, so Sonic Boom is uh, it's a lot like Sonic, for I remember, except the characters kind of live on an island or something. I think now, and uh, there's a couple more different Sonic characters than the regular Sonic cast. Um, in the world in itself, though, I wouldn't mind being here either. They, they, I would, I wouldn't mind living in Boom Sonic World either. I would take either of the Sonic World, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, but if it was, it should be. Oh, I see. <laughs> I understand, Pansy. <laughs> it, it, again, it's basically like the Sonic World, but just like slightly different. It's an offshoot of it, really. Poyo Poyo, oh hell yeah! If I get to make Poyo Poyo blocks the same way that people do it, like magic in that game, I would not mind living in Poyo Poyo World. <laughs> that would be amazing. Also, the characters are amazing in that game. I wouldn't mind being friends with a lot of the people in that game. <laughs> you just, again, again, you just might have to deal with your occasional baddie or people uh, trying to enslave and destroy the world. But you know, that's what the heroes are for. <laughs> The, the world of Puyo Puyo itself, though, if I could do Puyo stuff like that as well with everyone, I would definitely be up for it. Hell yeah. Put me into that place right now. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Rulu and Draco are hot as hell, even though Rulu lasted, <laughs> lost over the devil. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, Super Monkey Ball. You are a monkey and you roll in a ball and you collect bananas. And also, apparently, the whole entire world just shifts around your whim. Uh, <laughs> that's an NS tier. I don't know what it is. <laughs> um, it would be interesting, though. It would be interesting living in a world like that. I, I wouldn't mind rolling around the ball and seeing what it's like. I feel like I'm not sure if I would want to spend too much time in like that, but I wouldn't mind seeing what it's like, at least. <laughs> F tier, F tier, F tier. <laughs> uh, it, it, it's because of monkey, right? If Pansy does not want to become monkey. <laughs> uh, I, I would just be curious to see what it's like, at least. I don't know if I would want to stay there for very, very long, but I would I would try it, at least. Jet Set Radio. Okay, Jet Set Radio is really cool. <laughs> not gonna lie, Jet Set Radio is amazing. <laughs> the, the world of Jet Set Radio is actually pretty cool, because, like... You, uh, you got people going against, like, this, uh, you, uh, you got people going around on skates, painting graffiti all around the whole place. <laughs> it's actually a pretty, it's, it's pretty cool. I maybe wouldn't mind being part of that kind of game, too, especially because they don't really seem like they take much damage from, like, the police and everything, so it would be fun. I, th I, th I think Jesse Radio would be a really cool world to live in. <laughs> no more monkey. <laughs> yeah, indeed. Uh, Crazy Taxi, um... So, from what I remember about Crazy Taxi, the whole point of the game is that you literally drive people from point A to point B, but your taxi just goes at ridiculous speeds all the time. <laughs> I feel like this would be a nightmare to actually be in, actually. <laughs> I feel like this would be a nightmare. <laughs> it might be fun, but, like, I feel like it would be terrible, especially just living in that world. Like, you'd have to deal with the crazy taxi just running you over. <laughs> I feel like that would not be very desirable. <laughs> Below F tier. Oh. Is there a reason for that, Pansy? Is there a reason for the Jet Set Radio being in F tier? Yakuza. What is Yakuza like again? Yakuza, from my remember, it basically is kind of like stuff that goes on in real life, but a lot more ridiculous and over the top. Like, if real life was an anime, this is what Yakuza is. 
uh, I feel like it's slightly dangerous, so I don't know if I would put it like high up on the tier list, but there's some cool stuff in it, so maybe a solid C tier at least. <laughs> I tried playing that game twice and it sucks. <laughs> oh, I see. So you're not very much a fan of it. I, I, I just like the world of it. <laughs> like, I can understand not liking the gameplay maybe of it. Like, if it's not really akin, akin to your style, but I really like the uh, style of the world a lot. <laughs> so, I'll put it up there. Um, Shenmue, I think, is kind of along the same lines as Yakuza. There's, like, ridiculous anime shit going on in real life, so it's like... Yeah. See it? Yeah, again, you can barely see it on the tier list. <laughs> so far, we, ha we have so many games that are, like, hidden from the tier list that we don't even know what they are. Like, freaking... Like, Shenmue is here. Uh, or no, Shenmue is right here. Fire Emblem's here. Uh, Super Mario Maker is kind of almost right there. Uh, and then you got like, what's this one again? Brain Age hidden right here as well. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> the P the PNGs look kind of nice, but they don't work well on the actual tier list itself. Because the actual tier list is not, like, white on the background. Unless I can change that. No. Yeah, no. I can't. Okay. Um, Fantasy Star. Um. I just don't know anything about this game now that I think about it. <laughs> Persona 5. Uh... <laughs> uh I know, I know about Persona 5. I've played a good amount of it. I would like to be a Persona user. That'd be that'd be pretty cool. Um, even just living in Shibuya would be nice enough. Um, but again, you can live in Shibuya in real life, but you don't have the stuff that's going on with the Persona people in real life. So I feel like it'd be pretty cool. <laughs> Personally, saying I, I, I also all the characters too. If I could if I could meet some of those people in uh, in in later life, would be kind of cool too. Maybe they would. Uh, Harbinger me on to become a phantom thief. <laughs> could be nice. It could be nice being a phantom thief. <laughs> nah, Pansy. Nah, it's it, it's a it's a perfect. <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> it's perfect. Alien oscillation? No, hell no. You get to deal with an alien inside of a spaceship. It's no. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> Uh, Castle Illusion. Is this the... This isn't the Epic Mickey series, is it? I don't remember. Either way, I don't know anything about it. Um, Mega Man. Um, I don't know, really. Because yeah, I haven't really played the Mega Man series a lot, but what I know about it is that he, there's a mega boy. Yeah, he, uh, he goes collects the powers of the people that he defeats. Um, there's a lot of robots and monsters and everything around everywhere. Uh, it seems kind of cool. Some some aspects of this might be cool, but I don't know enough about it, so I'm just gonna chuck it down there. Uh, what are you? Mega oh Mega Man Legends. Okay, I couldn't read it until I put it over the black. <laughs> Um, is this a... Wait, are these all Mega Man here? Hold on. Yeah, this is Mega Man as well. Oh, God. How many series does Mega Man have? You got the regular base Mega Man, you got Mega Man X, you got Mega Man Legends, you got Mega Man... The hell of the... Whatever this is. And then you got Stark Force. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I didn't think it was that big. <laughs> uh, Street Fighter. Uh, you got some interesting characters in Street Fighter, at least. Um... And you got tournaments and everything going on. Um, I wouldn't personally want to participate in the tournaments myself, but it might be nice seeing them fight. Uh, not very desirable for me, though, personally, at least. Where's... <laughs> um, so Resident Evil. <laughs> I think people would hate to be in the Resident Evil. Um, you got the old zombies, which, uh, I mean, it might be cool, but, like, zombies are terrifying as shit. And, uh... They will eat you alive and you become one. So, uh, nah. I think not for Resident Evil. <laughs> it, it It's really cool. But some of the stuff you can do in that game. But, like, no, no, no zombies. No, thank you. 
Monster Hunter, oh god. Um, this is another thing where it's just like, if you were a hunter that was skilled and could do all the stuff with the monster people, this would be a cool world to live in. But if you're just a regular human living among people, uh, living among these people with the monsters, this place would be scary as hell. <laughs> living in a world with monsters that giant, like basically just like dinosaurs just roaming the earth, that would be terrifying. Putting an E tier just because like there's a chance that you could be good. But unless you're like really skilled in that, don't count on it. <laughs> Ace Attorney, um, this is just lawyers and judge and the uh the judicial system. <laughs> yeah. There's much very anime stuff that goes on with this. Like the the thing you could at least say with this, like at least with some of these also too, is uh, the characters, but some of them don't even have characters, like some of them are just the gimmick of like you do this as as a game. Like a punch out it has characters in it, but like not very many. Um Ace Attorney, you yeah, have characters in that too. But I I just I don't know. I wouldn't. I don't think I, I don't think I would regardless. I w I'm not into uh, the traditional stuff anyway, so <laughs> I'm not into the court stuff right now anyways. Uh what is this? Goblins and oh, is this that like one something a goblins game? I don't know nothing about this game. Ghosts and goblins, yes, yeah, what it was. I don't know about. I don't know nothing about it. Dead Rising, hell no. <laughs> Again, it, it's just zombies, but now they're in a mall, which is still terrifying. <laughs> uh, Okami, Okami could be cool. Okami could be interesting. I don't know enough about the game to really personally see what it's like, but like, it seems like a really cool uh, world. Uh, I'm putting A to be safe, because I don't know enough about it to be like, oh yeah, definitely. But it seems really cool. I wouldn't mind trying it out. I wouldn't mind seeing what it's like. Maybe being one of the wolves. <laughs> Maybe being like an, a wolf like Okami. <laughs> uh, is this... Darksiders? No the hell is this? I can't even read that. Death Stalkers or something like that? Dark Stalkers? Something Stalkers. I don't know. Um, what are you? You look familiar to me. What are you? Is that... Is that dead or alive? I'm not sure. I can't tell. I honestly can't tell. Uh, I really can't. Uh, let me let me see if I can zoom in on those and see if I can read those better. Oh, by on the commando. I don't know nothing about the bucket by any commandos. Yeah, I think this is Darkstalkers. I don't know about anything about that. Uh, we'll keep it like this for now, uh, for a while too, just so I can read some of these things. <laughs> um, final fight, I don't know anything about. I don't really... I mean, I know some things about Tekken, but I don't really know enough about it. I don't know anything about Klonoa. Namco Museum. <laughs> Again, this is one I'm like, I'm unsure of how this would work. Yeah. I'm unsure how that one would work. Um, Silent Hill, I know is terrifying. <laughs> Silent Hill, I know is terrifying. Put that down here. I'm kind, of, I'm kind of going through now and just like seeing like which what easy ones I can probably get rid of. Um, 
I feel like Gears of War would not be very good either because it's like you have to deal with a lot of locusts and uh, um, you have to deal with a lot of shit and the world is constantly at war with the aliens so I'm unsure about that one too. You could you could you could have a chainsaw gun and you can shoot them but uh yeah I personally wouldn't want to live in that world. Um, okay, let me zoom back out again. Um, so, because I see this down here, if anything I learned about Final Fantasy XIV while playing it is that I like living in this... <laughs> I love to live in the Final Fantasy series. <laughs> There's some cool stuff that goes on in the Final Fantasy world that I would love, because like they have the magics and the chocobos and the moogus. They have a lot of cool stuff in Final Fantasy that I wouldn't mind uh, being a part of. <laughs> you just have to deal with some monsters sometimes. But you can leave that to the most of the heroes. Put in E. Zombies are undesirable, but imagine being able to go shopping at the mall and everything is free. <laughs> yeah, but you have to deal with all the zombies, though. Like, I wouldn't be able to go through that horde of zombies. <laughs> I'd be constantly scared the whole time there. <laughs> oh, Crackdown? I don't know anything about that. Microsoft Flight Simulator? It's just you fly a plane. <laughs> you fly a plane. <laughs> I might have buy off more and I can chew with this list now that I think about it. Um, oh yeah, I saw that down here. I don't know anything about Fatal Fury. <laughs> or Jack and Daxter. Or Medieval. Uh, I certainly don't know much about Rush and Clink yet, so I can't really say anything about it either. Um, same with Gravity Rush. Same with Knack. Same with the last guardian. Hmm. Chuck more into here. Midway arcade again. I don't know how that would work. <laughs> I don't know anything about Half Life. Spy Hunter? I don't even know what that is. Hungry Shark? Okay. I know. Uh, Far Cry. Beyond Good and Evil. Um, I mean, I'm sure these are pretty good worlds to live in, but I don't know enough about them really to say anything. Oh, here's here's more of the sports games. Here we go. Uh, FIFA. It's just uh, soccer. <laughs> Madden. It's just football. Burnout. Um, cars. Racing. I think it's slightly more interesting racing, but still racing. Okay, real talk, civilization. 
How would you isekai into this world? Like, I'm actually gonna, just gonna put it down here, but like, real talk, how would you, how would you, how would you isekai into civilization? Because the whole point of civilization is that you're base, like the player character, like the player is just traversing themselves through history as a colony. <laughs> like, I want to say you would play God. I just don't sure how that would work. 9-11 simulator. <laughs> this 100% sale is worth it, indeed. Bubble, bubble. Oh. Oh, any button, indeed. Age of vampires. We're just gonna have fun looking through this list, too, because, like, you can't even read some of these shit. You can't even read some of these shits. <laughs> Joust. Uh, don't even know what that is. Gauntlet. Okay, nah. Na 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 Which, uh... I mean, Cyberpunk would be kind of cool living, actually. I've seen a little bit of it, so I can actually say things about that. Dragons. I don't even know what Dragon City is. How would you live in Pong? <laughs> How would you do that? How would you live in Breakout? <laughs> How would you live in Qbert? <laughs> That's the other thing that now. This is kind of just a how would you. Paper boy. Hey, guess what? You deliver papers. You are the paper boy. <laughs> I don't know anything about Unravel yet. I won't say anything. Uh, Command and Conquer. Yeah, apparently I wasn't done with this list, by the way. <laughs> I thought I was, but no. I just want to try to get quickly get through some of the these ones that I like. I know I know nothing about. I don't know nothing about Typhall. No, nothing about Dead Space. I know it's terrifying. <laughs> That's what I know about Dead Space. I know it's terrifying. Uh, Borderlands, Bushock. Ah, uh, this is the Neo Geo series. Okay. Uh, don't know what that is. I haven't played Wolfenstein. Oh, there's more of these. Hmm. I don't know. Again, I don't know any of the characters, so I can't say anything about that one. Mafia up here too. Um. Max Payne also up here. Uh, NBA 2K. Hey, guess what? Basketball. Woo. <laughs> W2K. Wrestling, hell yeah. Uh, wait, where'd you go? Oh, there you are. <laughs> wait, where'd you go? <laughs> oh, wait, here we go. Here's an easy one. Detroit Become Human. Um, I love the hell of this game. I would love to be... I have played this so many times, I already know definitely what the world is like. I would love to live in Detroit. 
<laughs> I'd love to be in the world where you have uh, androids and stuff to be your people. Like I, I would if I had an Android servant, I would treat him right. I, w I wouldn't treat him like all the other people do that make the robot revolution in the game. <laughs> I would be treating my robot right. I, I, I would be like Carl. I, I would, I would treat him in there while I draw my all my art. <laughs> Try to make him do some human things to see what he would do. <laughs> um, Tetris, how? <laughs> How do you how how does how does one live in Tetris? <laughs> um, same with. Looks like I know I know asteroids. I just <laughs> just feel like it wouldn't be very desirable. <laughs> uh. Don't know Brawl Stars. Don't know Clash Royale. Don't know Clash of Clans. Disney Universe in the Divinity. There's Epic Mickey. Okay. I still don't know another about Epic Mickey. I just know of it. <laughs> don't know anything about Infinity. Don't know anything about Universe. Um, remember Heavy Rain. I think there's actually some like uh, slightly futuristic stuff in Heavy Rain too. So, in terms of that, I wouldn't mind living there as well. I'm only gonna put an A though because you have to deal with uh, the Origami Killer, <laughs> who uh, might swipe your child <laughs> and make him drown. Uh, don't know about the man games. Uh, rampage. Okay, we're 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 starting to slowly close up on the list. I think we can we can at least do this before six, which is a good thing for me to consider. Oh, they got oh the the ended with a bunch of indie games. Okay, I see how they go. <laughs> that would be interesting. That'll be interesting for to get through when we get there. Excuse me. Um, SimCity, how? <laughs> uh, the Sims, um, wait a minute. So The Sims is just real life, right? Sims is just real life. <laughs> Sims is just real life. The Sims is actually just real life. Um, Forest, I am putting you into F tier because I know that you're a piece of shit. <laughs> you have you have a lot of piece of shit things inside of you. I don't want to deal with you. Uh, oh, here we go. Battle for Bikini Bottom. Oh yeah. Let's uh move this up here. I'd love to live in the world of SpongeBob. Honestly, it seems like a really cool world to be in. You just had to deal with Plankton and the um, giant murderous robots that are around, but you know, that's fine. <laughs> that's what Spongebob is for, right? Detroit version of Detroit Spoggers. <laughs> this, this world's Detroit is cringe. <laughs> yeah, I, I gotta agree. The Detroit and Detroit Become Human is very nice. Actual Detroit, not so much. <laughs> Tetris would be pretty cool, especially a Puyo Puyo Tetris uh, version of Tetris. Yeah, if it was a Puyo version of Tetris, yeah, it could be interesting. You know, because you bring that up, Pansy, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move that one up. Where's Tetris? There's Tetris. We're, we're gonna, we're gonna make this. Well, actually, nah. I'm gonna keep it up here. I'm gonna keep it down here because it, it, this is just, this is just Tetris. Whereas in Tetris, it got its Tetris people in Puyo Puyo, so it's still technically the Puyo Puyo world. So I'll still kind of just categorize them all into that. <laughs> Swim about as poggers. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> indeed. <laughs> um. Marvelous Capcom. I mean, it's a fighting game. I don't know how else, how really we would do it. Yeah. You could see some tournaments, but I don't know. Uh, um, Contra, I don't know nothing about. 
to know anything about Bravely Default or Chrono Trigger. I technically don't know anything about Conquer, but I still feel like that would be an interesting world to be in. From what I remember of it. Um... Unless you could befriend this Colossus. I'm not sure why you would want to live in Shadow of the Colossus. Uh, I don't think the Colossus are very too kind to uh, strangers. <laughs> so I think it's safe to put them uh, in here. Because you have a lot of empty space and then those empty spaces are just a bunch of Colossi. I don't know. I don't think that would be a very desirable world to be in. <laughs> Um, Uno. Yeah, how? how? <laughs> Monopoly. Um, how? <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna just kind of scroll through to be sure that I actually know some of these things. Uh, I don't know nothing about Mirror's Edge. Um, Battlefield, it's war. <laughs> um, yeah. And it's got very generic soldier characters, so no. No, thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. Call of Duty, same same thing with you. No, thank you. Overwatch is at least a little bit more interesting. <laughs> Same with Apex, too. They're at least a little bit more interesting as well. Spore would be weird. I'm gonna put Spore in, like, a neutral territory. Because Spore is kind of just, like, a weird one. Whereas, like, it would be kind of cool to be some of these creatures and meet some of them, but... You also still have to kind of do your basic survival stuff. Um... You could get advanced enough to go to space, though, which is nice. So, actually, in that regard, it's an A. It'll be, it'll be interesting. At least if you can also determine, like, how far along you progress in it. <laughs> I put Monopoly in F tier, then I hate to live in a world that's a zero-sum game. <laughs> I just don't know how Monopoly would work. <laughs> it's it's just capitalism, isn't it? Isn't it just capitalism, the game? Um. Solitaire, again, is one I don't know about. Minesweeper is the only one I can kind of, like, imagine a world for, because, like, your whole job with the game is to basically uh, use, like, a metal detector kind of thingy or something, and then just kind of, like, find where the mines are and mark them. But this game, this particular game of Minesweeper, no. Can't really think much of it for. <laughs> I'm actually pretty good at Minesweeper, though, too. I just do it one of these days for, like, Casual Friday. <laughs> I want to play, like, a bunch of those, like, dumb little games for Casual Friday sometime. I don't know about Kerbal Space Program. Um, I don't know about Doki Doki. Polybridge. Collect Rivals of Aether. I don't know nothing about Rivals of Aether yet to really say anything about it. Same with Hello Neighbor. Uh, what is this thing? Geometry dash. Okay, I couldn't read that again until I put against the black. I'll keep it in. I don't know nothing about battle block either though yet. I 
Yeah, this is just ink monsters come to life, so no thank you. Basically, all the horror games would be horrible to live in. <laughs> you would not want to live in any of the horror games that are out there. Um, same with Super Hot. I don't think I would like to live here either. Because uh, Super Hot's kind of just like a. Uh, there's a lot of polygons everywhere, and everything kind of moves in slow motion. I mean, everything can run moves. It, Super Hot's only interesting for the fact that if 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 everything works how I think it it would, basically everything would always be in slow motion, unless you started moving. Which might be kind of cool. But, like... I'm unsure if you want to live in a world that's like that all the time. It's weird. For someone that thinks that we have a fixed amount of wealth in the world, sure. Of course, realistically, that's not the case. <laughs> yeah. Um, don't know enough about Shantae to say anything either. Um, Telltale game series. This is a little bit too vague for me, so I'm just gonna put it there. Angry Birds. <laughs> Outlast. Okay, Outlast I know is horrible as well, so <laughs> you you would not want to live there. Last of Us I feel like would be kind of unbearable as well too, because there's like it's post-apocalyptic, so. That in itself would not be very nice to live in. Some of the characters might be kind of cool, but like... I feel like you wouldn't want to live in this world. Uh, same with FNAF. <laughs> yeah, how would you like to live in a world where you... There, there are scary, like, animatronic ghosts... That are uh, able to kill you by haunting the spirits of animatronics or by haunting the bodies of animatronics yes no th no bueno no bueno <laughs> yeah bae <laughs> uh same with left 4 dead too as well <laughs> left, 4 left 4 dead is also one of those games where it's just like okay zombies nope <laughs> especially with some of the zombies they have in that game some of those zombies are terrifying if you saw those in real life, you'd be fucking dead. <laughs> um, I, for one, would not like to be in the Binding of Isaac basement. No, thank you. <laughs> no, 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 thank you. The place is very unsettling. Stay, steer me away from that. Um, Bioshock is kind of cool. At least maybe for Infinite, but I still feel like a lot of things in it are still very scary and, like, dystopian. So, I don't think you'd want to live there. Again, I'm getting rid of, like, all the easy ones. Um, Alright, let's get this one out of the way. Undertale. Undertale I would love to live in. Just saying this right now. Um, especially because a lot, of the, a lot of the monsters seem to be pretty friendly toward humans in the underground. So, if I could be the human that helps, helps them out, I wouldn't mind. <laughs> like, it was proven with the pacifist route of that game that you can be a human in that game. And you could, uh, you can still be fine among everyone. But even so, if you're if you're still going by isekai rules, you could just be a monster. You could isekai into a monster that lives in the underground, or as a human that lives on the surface. Either way, I think it would be kind of neat. It would be nice. It would be neat to live in this world, especially because they have magic and everything going on. So it's very very nice. And also, I'd love to meet the characters. <laughs> oh, B for you? Oh, is it because some of, some of the characters probably? <laughs> is there is there some characters that would be a little bit too much for you or is it like some of the plot line or like some of the pe things that people do might be a little bit too much <laughs> I used to put S here but so many people ruined it for me oh I see I see what you mean I, I, I still like the world a lot regardless even if the fans may have been a little bit overboard with it but I, I, I'm, I'm considering like the canon of like the game rather than the canon of the fan base <laughs> Because the fan base has made their own canon at this point for their games. <laughs> I love to work as a night guard for working, looking over murderous animatronics for five dollars an hour. Yeah, I think that was like actually kind of like what the wage was back then, because you know it was like 
the 80s or something. But I still think it was still like minimum wage even for the 80s. Uh, Kingdom Hearts, hell yeah. <laughs> Personally, I would love to live in Kingdom Hearts. I like to be a Keyblade wielder and I would like to... Uh, you just have to deal with all the monsters and uh, nobodies and uh, Heartless and everything. But uh, especially if also I could be... Uh, like the, the Kingdom Hearts that I would probably want to live in is the setting of Key. Uh, or unchain key um back when everyone was like a keyblade wielder and fighting for their factions i wouldn't mind living in, in that kind of world just going through different disney worlds and uh using my keyblade on all the hard lists and everything it'd be kind of fun you get to use magic and everything it's nice i would love to live in a world of kingdom hearts <laughs> some, some of the characters might be interesting too some of them don't appear in key but still it'll be nice Put Kingdom Hearts in D tier. <laughs> uh, why do you say that? <laughs> I can at least understand that there's a lot of bullshit that you have to deal with, like in terms of like the overall uh, the the overall worlds and how they connect and everything. <laughs> Not a big fan of this. Ah, yeah. Okay, I understand that. <laughs> I can understand that. Yeah, if you're if you're not a fan of Disney worlds, you're not gonna like Kingdom Hearts too much. Uh, but, but yeah, I, I I don't mind the Disney worlds. I like I like a lot of them. Some of them are a little weird for me, but I like I like most of them. I would say. Um, case story, I have no idea. Um, oh, Untitled Goose Game. <laughs> uh, Untitled. If anything, if anything's been said about Untitled Goose Game, it's the fact that everyone wants to be a goose. <laughs> can we all agree on that? Can, can we just live in a world where we just turn into a goose? That'd be fun. <laughs> I wouldn't mind that. I like I like to live as a goose. <laughs> goose. There's plenty of Disney stuff I like, but internal mind to it. Yeah, I get that. <laughs> there, I, I'm actually more of a Pixar man myself as as well. But there's a lot of Disney film, films I still like as well. I think Pixar is still a little bit better, though. Uh, lol. I don't know about that about you. I don't know anything about Valorant. <laughs> uh, oh god, Fortnite. Oh god, Fortnite. <laughs> I'm gonna have to deal with Fortnite, I just remembered, too. Yeah. That's gonna be fun. Oh. Um, beyond that, I have no idea about. Uh, oh, uh, in my personal experience of playing Ark as well, um, there's some stuff in it that's kind of cool, but I would hate to live in this world. <laughs> there's some stuff that's probably pretty cool to do in this world, like if you could, if you know how to tame the dice. I mean, actually, I'll give it a bit more credit. There's some, there's some cool stuff in here. It's just uh, every time I try to play through Ark, I uh, I died a lot, and uh, I had to respawn with like nothing on me, which I hated. <laughs> and also, it's a survival craft game. But the world the world of Ark is not too bad though. Like the fact that you can you 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 like live all among dinosaurs and technology and everything is kind of cool. <laughs> but again, there's also bad about it, so I'm putting an average. Until Goose Game goes to F tier. <laughs> I would hate to have my property stolen by a goose all the time. <laughs> you see, you're thinking in the mindset of a human. When you should be thinking in the mindset of a goose. <laughs> you, you why, why not also be a goose, Pansy? Again, like if anything that, that game has taught us is that how many of us want to be goose? <laughs> how many of us would just love to be a goose? Uh, what is that? Super something. I don't know about you. Uh, Celeste. I don't know nothing about Celeste yet. I'm not going to say anything about it. Shovel Knight either. I don't know anything about Hall Knight either. Uh, Ghost Simulator. 
Um, if you were a human living in Ghost Simulator, you would hate it. If you were a goat, you'd probably be friggin' enthralled. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I, I don't. I don't know how to rank Goat Simulator. I feel like you kind. You kind of had to rank it in terms of a goat, right? Because the whole point of the game is that you are a goat. So. Hell yeah, Goat Simulator. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really know much about Gang Beast or Human Fall Flat. Or Fez. Or Splunky. Move or die. I feel like that's just terrible by itself anyways. <laughs> um, I don't know, not the Ultimate Chicken Horse either. Um, everything else I think I know about though. Yeah, I think everything else I kind of know the worlds of, so I think we can we can properly list the rest of these now. <laughs> yeah, this shouldn't take us more than a half hour, I would say. If I were an animal, I'd rather be a, either be a goat, a cat, or a squirrel. B for goat, F for human NPC. <laughs> yeah, indeed. <laughs> um, okay, Ducktales. Woo. Um, oh yeah, since we got a lot of shit to go through here now, I'm gonna move the tier this tier up a bit there we go now we got all the rest of this uh, you to deal with so ducktales um again this is a disney property so you get to live in the world of disney uh, along with all the little, little duck people um it'd be interesting it'd be interesting being like a little disney character maybe even a duck <laughs> I feel like there's not really much of a downside to that, honestly. <laughs> It'd be an interesting world to live in. I wouldn't mind being Isekai do it. <laughs> pack a man, um oh and pack land. I have no idea what pack land is like, so I'm just gonna chuck it down there. But pack man. I also got pack man is that mania? I don't know. I'm assuming it's kinda of basically the same as Pac-Man. But also again, how would you live in this world again? Now I think about it, yeah, how would you live in this world? I have no idea. <laughs> Actually, wait, no. It would. It, th th I, I'm thinking this is. I'm thinking this is the uh, the one tier. Whoops, 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 whoops. <laughs> Whoopsies. Hold on. I'm move them temporarily into B tier for now. There you go. Yeah, I, I have no idea how you would do that. Personally. Um, Katamari. Oh, boy. Um, Katamari would be weird to live in. Because I've heard some weird things about this game. Um. I'm assuming if you isekai into this world, you you would either get the choice of being the human to live on the world with all the Katamari. Or the, uh, the actual, uh, pushers of the Katamari and makers of the Katamari. Which I wouldn't mind being a maker of the Katamari. Just being able to go around and roll stuff up is very funny to me. <laughs> I, I I would love to do that. Just roll up the entire world and uh, make a star out of it. <laughs> I wouldn't mind doing that. That'd be fun, honestly. I, I love the Katamari games, honestly. They're very funny. I'd love to do them on stream sometime. It's just that I don't think any of them are on, uh, on PC. So I don't really have an excuse for them on Steam stream or whatever. And I basically played the whole series up until uh, the recent game as well. So unless they come out with that new game, I might just save it for like a casual Friday sometime or something. But yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, very, it's very interesting. Apparently from what I've heard from the lore of this game too, is that being rolled up by the Katamari, like if you are a person who is rolled up by the Katamari, it's actually not that bad. Apparently it gives you an euphoric feeling. <laughs> So, so basically to basic make it so that uh, people don't feel bad about rolling up living creatures. They're just like, oh yeah, they, they love this shit. They love being rolled up by the Katamari and turned into a giant star. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> <laughs> see, 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 if I was a human who's living in this world and had to deal, had to deal with the Katamaris constantly trying to roll up my stuff and me, F tier. But if I am the pusher of the Katamari, S <laughs> for sure. 
Digimon, Digital Monsters. I think this is a pretty good world too as right. well, right? It's basically kind of like Pokemon, but you have digital monsters instead. And everything is in like a digital world. Also, some of the characters I think are pretty cool too, so... I wouldn't mind... I wouldn't mind seeing what it's like, at least, trying it out. <laughs> I don't know much about the Digimon universe myself, but I've heard it's pretty cool. Especially from uh, Chris. I think Chris has been getting into it a lot more now, recently. <laughs> dun 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 dun! Feels incoming. Yes, indeed. <laughs> All of the feels, all of the time. Let's pick a game that's not like the song Dark Souls. <laughs> that, I think I would hate to be in the world of Dark Souls, to be honest, because uh, there's a lot of terrifying shit that goes on in Dark Souls. Um, everything wants to kill you. Uh, you're very weak, especially at the start. And yeah, it's just it's just death. It's basically hell. This game is also just meant to be hell in, in, by itself, so I think that it, putting in F tier is very appropriate. <laughs> I, I I don't think you'd want to live in uh, the world of Dark Souls. No, no, no. Uh, no, no, no. Um, same with the Fallout universe. Your whole world gets nuked and you're now living in a nuclear apocalypse. There's some stuff that's cool in it. Like, you could live off the land if you really wanted to. So, E tier maybe? Like, you could live off the land really if you really wanted to, but it would be hard. There's a, there's, you'd, you had to make a lot of shit work to live, uh, to live in the post-apocalyptic uh, nuclear wasteland. But you can make it work. Fall is proven to make it work. So, it would, be, it would be interesting to see at least. I just feel like it would be very, uh, be very deadly as well. I feel like there's not... You wouldn't really want to live in this world if you... But you could. <laughs> Dark Souls literally hell on Earth. Yes, indeed. <laughs> literally. Um, Soul Calibur. Um, Soul Calibur is an interesting uh, thing. I've, I've seen some of the lore for this game, but not really like that much. Um, there's like a fantasy-like lore going on with everything, though. Everyone uses like these different weapons. Um... B maybe? I'd be curious to see what it was it would be like living in that world, because I feel like there's some stuff in that world that would be interesting for me to try. Actually, I don't know. I'm 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 gonna stop talking off my ass and just put it into here because I don't know nothing I don't know nothing about it. Even though I have played four, I think they actually built the world more in six, which I haven't played yet, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna keep it up there if it'd be safe. Um Dig Dug. So with Dig Dug, you uh you dig holes into the ground. You sometimes meet little uh, poofy monsters and uh, dragons. Um, I can't really see myself wanting to live in this world, to be honest. Um, <laughs> it's uh, not really my thing, at least, uh, digging into the ground. Like, the gameplay is fun, but actually doing it for, like, being in the world and doing this kind of stuff? I don't know about that. Don't know about that one, Chief. Um, Galaga, you are fighting a lot of aliens in space with your starship. Um, again, the the idea of it being in space, very cool. The idea of fighting a bunch of alien ships that could definitely kill you, not so cool. <laughs> uh, I think I'll put it in C tier. Kind of like an even feel where it's just like, oh yeah, this is a cool kind of little thing. But uh, also, dear God, this would suck. <laughs> It would be, it's like, it's, it's, it's really a middle of the road for me. It's like, it's really cool, but it would really suck at the same time. <laughs> so yeah, I think that's appropriate place for it. Oh my god, we still have so many to go through, actually. Um, Dragon Ball Z Bodokan? Or Bodokai? Bodokai, yeah. This is the, I think this is the fighting game, right? Or is this like one of the fighting games of it? Because this is the other fighting game, I know that. And this is like another fighting game of it. Also, I like how they had the... Yeah, they had the fighting games for all the Naruto and the Dragon Ball series as well. <laughs> um, Can we technically just count all of these in the same universe? Because these technically are all the same thing, right? They're technically all just in the Dragon Ball universe. 
Which is Dragon Ball Universe is kind of cool. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Dragon Ball is a pretty cool place to be in. Um, you got your Saiyan races. You got your other races that do other things. Um, blessing key balls and everything like that at each other. Uh, martial arts tournaments up the wazoo. <laughs> a lot of screaming. <laughs> um, if you're just a regular human living in this world, this would be terrible. But if you get to be like one of those races that actually have all these abilities, might be might be pretty interesting. I'm gonna put it in B tier. Cause I yeah, I kind of feel like it's like with these ones where it's just like, oh yeah, there's some cool stuff in here, but also mm, but also mmm. <laughs> but also mmm. Naruto, I love to live in world Naruto. <laughs> um I'm being perfectly biased here, by the way. <laughs> So feel free to call me out on my bullshit, but I love living Naruto. Um, I wouldn't mind trying to be a ninja, like at least uh, seeing what I can do with my ninja skills. I feel like I wouldn't be like a, like a really like top ranked ninja. I would I would mostly just try to do my uh, I would try to learn ninja skills that I feel like would be kind of cool for me to use. Like I'd probably do what Sai does and be like a painter, uh, painting ninja, make my art come to life. <laughs> That'd be cool. And maybe you even learn some lightning stuff or like some regular spells to like help me with daily life. <laughs> but I don't know, it'd be cool. I, I, I like to try it out at least. It's one of the, my ideal worlds that I feel like would be interesting to see. <laughs> but yeah, I'm perfectly biased to Tor Naruto. I love this <laughs> I love this series. <laughs> one of the also the uh, series that I also want to do on stream sometime. Um Main thing is, I think there's only like a few Naruto games I have um, on Steam. Actually, no, wait, I do have the. All oh, right. Okay, I don't have all the Naruto series on Steam. I, I have some of them though. So three, four, and Revolutions are the ones that I own on Steam. So those are future Steam streams to be had. Maybe when I get a better PC though, because those games uh, will probably chug on mine. <laughs> uh, but yeah. But yeah, I think that's I think that's a perfect place for me at least right now. Um, let's get the weird one out of the way. Dance Dance Revolution. Um, how would you? How do you live in the world of Dance Dance Revolution? Is this is this one even a world? Would you even consider Dance Dance Revolution a world? There's not really a world to it, is there? No. Yeah, I don't know how you would do that. That's a weird one. Um, Metal Gear Solid, um, so what, so what I understand from the Metal Gear series is that the country is kind of like on a global crisis or whatever. Um, there's these giant mechs that are threatening to kill everything, and, uh, our main guy is the one who, like, goes and infiltrate the things and make it, and make it stop. Uh, unsure how I'd like to live in that kind of world. Um, it'd be interesting if you were like in if you were involved with the people like uh, with snake and everything, but I feel like it's an E for me No, yeah Yeah, I don't know about it. I don't know about it. Mm hmm uh, Let me get this one out of the way also uh, just cause just cause a really fun game. You get to blow up shit, um, fight against an evil dictator, claim back your island for the uh, for the rebels, and yeah, um, to live in this world though. Eh. I mean, you know, you know, most people I don't think really have the skills that uh, our main guy has uh, to do all the shit that he does in the game, um, and also he is constantly hunted down by the militia by himself, anyways. Um, but if you're living in this world, you're either you're basically living under the rule of a dictator, which is not very good, I would say. Um, your main saving grace is the main hero appearing and uh, liberating your town for the rebels. But uh, eh. e. I don't think you'd want to though. I don't think you'd want to live there if you if you had the choice. <laughs> I feel like there's better places than being in a place that's being uh constantly uh. Or that's currently being overthrown by its dictator. <laughs> or that its dictator is currently being overthrown in.
Um, Castlevania. Uh, oh boy. Um, so with Castlevania, you have... Uh, you are able to... Uh, let's see, like... There's a bunch of monsters and occult stuff going on. So, like... Dracula is a thing, um, vampires, basically every like monster that you can think of from like Hotel Transylvania or something like that, it's all here. <laughs> There's just a bunch of occult shit going on with this. Um, if you could be one of them, might be cool. Especially living in the uh, the castle itself. The only thing is you gotta deal with uh, holy man Simon Belmont coming in, <laughs> wrecking your shit. I'm putting C. I feel like there's cool things about it, but I feel like there's also negatives to being in that kind of world. <laughs> no matter what race that you decide to be. <laughs> yeah, I feel I feel like that's where I would put it. A bomber man. Um, you are people that like to blow bombs up at each other. Um, is there even a story or world to this game? Now that I think about it, I don't even think so. It's a weird one. It's a strange one. Frogger, um... You are a frog. <laughs> and you are hopping across uh, the road to get to your nest or something? I don't know, whatever's on the other side. Uh, the other Frogger games did a whole bunch of weird shit with their characters and everything. Um, can't say personally I would like to be in the frog world, though. That's kind of a weird one. That's a... It's a strange one for me. <laughs> I think not, actually. Uh, TMNT would be kind of interesting, though. Um, being like one of the turtles and or other creatures in, in the sewers that do a bunch of this cool shit. The rest of the world is kind of like the same, except for like, you know, the, uh, the group that's like a man by slasher and everything. But could be interesting, though. I think it could be cool. Maybe like a little bit. So, probably a B tier in terms of that. I I, I think it could be interesting though. I wouldn't tr I, I would mind tr I wouldn't mind trying it out at least. Um Dragon Quest. Oh, Dragon Quest is a cool world. Um has a lot of monsters, but has a lot of magic and cool characters and towns and stuff though too. <laughs> so, Definitely a really cool uh, place to be in as well. Like really, really good and built up with the rest of this, with the rest of these kind of worlds as well. Yeah, I love, I love to be in the Dragon Quest universe. That'd be cool. <laughs> Maybe I even learn a few spells and become a little bit of an adventurer as well. Near Automata. Oh boy, um, this is a. This is this is a this is a indecisive one right here because uh, it'd be really cool if you were like an android or something. Um, humans basically don't live there anymore; they live on the moon or something like that. Or I think all the humans have basically almost died out or something like that. Um, it's just a war between robots, really, androids and robots. Um, might be kind of cool if you're an android, because then you get a bunch of cool android powers and uh, you have these super awesome combat abilities and everything you can do, and a laser with your pod. Um, you have to deal with a lot of bullshit though, so yeah. I say C. It's a strange one. Like, there's, there's some cool stuff in it, but like, there's a lot of bullshit you gotta deal with in that world. It's kind of those apocalyptic in its own way. Spice invaders. Um. Oh yeah, this is uh, you defending. This is basically like Galaga, except you're the one like defending from the aliens as they're uh, coming down. Hmm. I feel like that'd be kind of terrifying, honestly. <laughs> I feel like it'd be kind of terrifying to be uh, shooting shooting a turn at a bunch of aliens con coming down to try to raid your things. <laughs> yeah, no thank you. Um, bubble Bubble. Uh, there's probably a world with this game and the story or whatever with it, but I don't... I don't... 
I don't. I don't. I just don't. Halo would be cool. Halo would be a cool world to live in. Um, but it also wouldn't be. Because, you know, you got the aliens everywhere um, doing their shit. Unless you could be the aliens also. That could be interesting. I think regardless, Halo is a, a cool world regardless of who, which side or faction you uh, lie with. Because you could either be a human Spartan kind of person or like living on one of their little uh, space colonies. Or you could uh, be one of the alien covenant people. Or even some of the new people. I think that was in 4. I think it's a cool world. I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind being in it. Especially because of the sci-fi aspect. I really like sci-fi worlds as well. Because I like how futuristic and uh, uh, diverse they can be with everything. It's, it, it's just a really cool concept to me, honestly. At you for Halo? <laughs> Why do you say so, Pansy? <laughs> Give me your thoughts. Personal reason. Okay, I see. <laughs> so you're based, I see. <laughs> I kid, I kid. Um, while we're on the topic of sci-fi things, I saw what was down here before. Mass Effect. Mass Effect would be awesome to live in as well. Um, they got a lot of cool races and uh, things going on in here too. A um, couple of human politics, or there's a couple of politics between races, but. They kind of just kind of help build character for everything that goes on in the world. There's some battles and everything going on everywhere, but I still think it, if you found like a good place, like maybe like a citadel or the uh, one of the other remote worlds, you could you could live a decent life there with uh, among some of the alien races. You have a good amount of things to choose from as well too. I wouldn't mind being uh, what was it, the blue alien race that was in there, uh, the one that uh, Liara, I think it, her name is uh, was. Should be cool. That that would be cool. <laughs> yes, I am based. Thank you for noticing. <laughs> it's okay. I, I I am the same way as well as most of these, honestly. Uh, while we're on the space uh, route, Destiny. Uh, Destiny is kind of a cool world. There's some cool stuff in it, but uh, I'm also indifferent to it. <laughs> they have some cool characters as well too, so. I think he's just like, yeah, you do. I don't know if you could live there without being like one of the uh, main people fighting with the group. I'd say B. It's kind of like decent with it, with its stuff overall. Um, also, again, another one that you can't just fucking see at all behind the background. Um, if I could make this background white, I would, but I don't think there's a way to do that. Because everything worked well with the white background, at least. But it doesn't work against the black. Strange. Okay. Um, Mine. Let's do Minecraft. Uh, Minecraft. Um, I feel like this world would be kind of interesting to live in. Because it's, it does have magic. It does have... Uh, like, it got, it's got some cool stuff hidden inside of it. But, uh... You also have to deal with a bunch of creatures like zombies during the night. Uh, creepers. Skeletons on with bows. There's, a, there's good and bad with it, I would say. So, I would put in the C for me, personally. There, there's good stuff to do in the game. And there's cool stuff to have be had. But... I feel like most of it would be horrible to be with. <laughs> Surprised about how big the S tier list is? Yeah. I just like a lot of these worlds, honestly. A lot of these worlds are really cool. <laughs> I wouldn't mind being in any one of these, honestly. Um, Spider-Man. Um, oh, hell yeah. I get to live in the world with Spider-Man? Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um... If I could be the Spider-Man, that would be even better. But like, that's that's just awesome by itself, I would say. Just just living in a world that has Spider-Man in it would be awesome. 
Also, this kind of brings in the Marvel Universe as well, because if, if this is the world that Spider-Man lives in, it's also the same world that all the other Marvel characters live in. Which would be kind of cool to live in as well. So, I wouldn't mind that at all. Pizza time. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm kind of just picking and choosing now which ones I'm just like, oh yeah, definitely. And then which ones I'm like, oh yeah, definitely not. <laughs> Grand Theft Auto? I would hate to live in Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> it's, a, it's a world that's basically run by crime. Like, unless you're good, unless you, unless you're really good with uh, doing crime stuff, you basically would hate to live here because everything is just constantly under, under siege or under crime <laughs> all the time. <laughs> It'd be horrible. <laughs> Agree. It's a fun game, but it would hate be hell to be there. <laughs> Indeed, yeah. <laughs> uh... Fucking Red Dead Redemption. Red Dead, Red, Dead, Red Dead Redemption might be neat because, like, you know, the Wild West and everything. But there's also a lot of shit in Red Dead Redemption that would be horrible to deal with. Because <laughs> you got, like, what? You got you got your raiders that go on and around and stuff. Um, it's basically just, like, this is just the Western setting, honestly. <laughs> I feel like there's good and bad to be had with it, so maybe a C tier for this one. There's, like, a, there's, there's some cool stuff to do in the Wild West, but... It would be an interesting time period to live in as well, but at the same time, there's uh, bad stuff as well with it, so. Hmm. Uh, Outer Worlds. Capitalism. Space. <laughs> um, basically, um, from my remember, everyone in this game is a dick. Uh, so, <laughs> this game might not be so desire. This this world might not be so desirable to be in. Uh, you could probably live off some of the space stuff, but uh, probably not all of it. I say probably B tier because I think there's like you could still do some cool stuff in in this kind of world, but a lot of it is just space capitalism. <laughs> Actually, not C tier. Space capitalism. It's basically like. It's kind of like the same thing with Red Dead Redemption. Like, there's like a bunch of other bad shit going on inside of this world, but the setting is cool. It's just, it's just a bit different between uh, the Wild West and the uh, distant future where we go into space. <laughs> space capitalism is based. <laughs> FS here for Red Dead. Honestly, worse than GTA because there's none of the fun technology. It's true. There's no technology in there. The only thing is, there's not as much crime, I would say, in Red Dead Redemption. Or at least the crime is a little bit more controlled, because they have the sheriffs and everything. But at the same time, they're not really as there, huh? Yeah, that's a good point, actually. That's a good point, actually. <laughs> yeah, I think they belong in the same tier. <laughs> now that I think about it, they, they would be like about the same rate as their crime rate, huh? Yeah. Um, Diablo, I heard this is, like, actual hell, but, like, actually hell. <laughs> um, there's, like, cool magic and stuff you can do with it, so... I think... If you, if you made, if you made a good, like, build or everything with your character and everything, you could probably survive pretty well in this game, but I feel like you wouldn't want to regardless, so... Kinda gonna keep it down here with all the other ones that are just, like, would be hell to deal with unless you're really, uh, really poggers. <laughs> That's basically what this tier list is, it's, like... You have to be very pog at what you're doing to survive well in this world. <laughs> um, Slime Rancher? Hell yeah. Hell yeah, Slime Rancher. I'm gonna put you straight up in the S tier. <laughs> Who would not want to live in this world, honestly? You get, to, you get to deal with a bunch of cute little slimes and you get to, uh, you get to farm them for their plurts. <laughs> and you get to make a bunch of space money off of it. Well, there's nothing to love about that. <laughs> the only thing is you might have to deal with the sliminess of some of the slimes, but you gotta suck pack, so it's all good. <laughs> it's all good. You don't even have to directly touch the creatures in most times. There's, there might be a few bad apples in there and there, but you know, it's all it's all in good fun. <laughs> I want to get Slime Rancher now. Yeah, it's it's really fun. I should do it sometime on stream. Um, actually. Mm. Because I really want to do Luxor for the next uh, Steam stream, but I wouldn't mind doing uh, Slime Rancher as well.
We can maybe save it. Let's see. Because Slime Ranch is a different enough game where it actually could be an interesting thing to do by myself. What do you think, Pansy? Next theme stream, Slime Rancher? Question mark? Double question marks? Triple question marks? Five times the question marks? <laughs> Yes, okay. <laughs> yes, yes, okay. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll do it for then, then. Um, I'll, I'll put it in the next, uh, I'll put in the next update. Uh, for the, for the week. Or, yeah, for the next thing for the week. Uh, we'll, we'll do Slime Rancher for Steam Stream next week. Um, as for this showcase, oh, that's right, no wait, that's right. Showcase can still be, uh, Luxor, because I've played that before. But I haven't really played Slime Rancher, so we can still do it. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Alright, we got it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We got our plan, boys. We got our plan for next week. Um, Mortal Kombat. Um, this world would be terrible to live in. <laughs> I think this world would be terrible to live in. <laughs> you you got people killing each other. You got people from other dimensions killing each other. There's a lot of there's a lot of killing and death involved, and there's a lot of tournaments involved. It's uh so, so, some of the, some of the some of the some of the stuff in it is kind of cool, but uh still very 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 based around war and death. So, no. <laughs> um, Batman, hell yeah. Live in a world with Batman, hell yeah. <laughs> it's basically what I'm doing with all the superhero ones too. Where, 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 where's the other one I was I was just looking at? Uh, Injustice. There you are. <laughs> live in a world with superheroes, hell yeah. <laughs> Doesn't even really matter what the game is. It's just because they live in the fa in the world of those uh, heroes. They, they just kind of go right up here. <laughs> Live in a world with Batman and the rest of the DC characters, hell yeah. <laughs> Possibly be one of them, hell yeah. <laughs> Need I say more? Um, Uncharted's a weird one, because... In order to, again, in order to be, like, really good with the characters in this game, you basically have to be into thievery and exploration like they are. Uh, they're really good characters, though. Um, but other than that, it's basically just like the real world, except there's like some kind of space, uh, or not really space, some kind of alien technology in one of the games, which is kind of weird. But you otherwise would not know about that because you'd never explore those depths and like Nathan Drake here. I'm gonna put this into the E tier because this is a game where it's like, you would be really cool in this if you were into that. <laughs> so it, it would be nice for only that fact. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, Doom actually, no, no, Doom is actually hell. Doom is actually hell. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I feel like this would be a terrible place to live. Um, Especially uh, just with all the demons and everything, unless you're unless you're one of the demons, unless you could become the demon. But then again, if you're a demon, you might have to deal with a uh, giant sp a, a space marine coming through your place and wrecking everyone's shit and tearing you apart. So I think it's a lose lose for both parties. <laughs> I, I I think we can keep it in F tier. I think it, I think it's a uh, it's not that good. <laughs> Um, Watch Dogs since we kind of established this rule. I'm going to put it here as well in the E tier because, again, this would only be good if you were a hacker. Because it would not be good to be hacked by the hackers. And uh, the world is basically just as it is now, except people have crazy hacking technology. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, if you were a hacker, though, this would be, this'd be a cool world to live in. Um, you still have to deal with cops and everything, but like again, it, it's only if you are part of that circle right there. <laughs> infamous powers, hell yes, I would love to live in Infamous. This is a really cool world to live in as well, um, especially if you are a conduit. You could uh, you can have crazy powers and stuff like that with everyone. <laughs> the only thing that would not be really progress about living in uh, Infamous is uh, the fact that you have to deal with a lot of gang activity. And I mean, a lot of gang activity. <laughs> like the first and second game, they had like gangs everywhere of like different types as well. And the third one, you had to basically deal with the uh, the government who also are conduits. 
So. Because of that, I'm going to bump it down to B. A lot of gang activity. That would be uh, not very popular to deal with. But you could have super awesome powers. Which it would be nice. Actually, no, I'll keep it an A for that reason, actually. Instead. Down, but down, but down. Um, we're almost there. Almost. Uh, portal. I'd like to live in a world where portals are a thing. Um, I would like to live in a world where portals are a thing. I would also, though, not like to live in a world where giant murderous robots are also a thing. <laughs> So, that's why I'm kind of hesitant on making it any higher than the C tier. Because, <laughs> while well, portals are really cool, um, robots that are sentient enough to want to kill you are not very cool. So, I think it's an even trade right there with the C tier. <laughs> uh, I would like to be a Lego man. I, I like to see what it's like just to see what it's like what it's like being in that because that would be kind of interesting being being a builder how would you like to be a master builder <laughs> would you like would you like to be a master builder <laughs> it, could be, it could be interesting yeah I, I would say s here for that I'm trying to debate in my mind like what I would think of it, about it. I think I think I think so though. Um, until dawn, this would be terrifying. <laughs> until dawn would be terrifying to be in, um, because you got legends that are like coming again. It's a horror game, so if you live in the little place that they live in in until dawn, um, you have to deal with uh the the monsters there, and uh, a lot of scary shit, which is not very nice. So no, thank you. <laughs> uh, plan for the zombies again zombie apocalypse um, also the plants are now sentient and now attacking them uh, this is strange um, assuming that you are not the humans that are being uh, hunted down by these zombies um, and you are indeed one of the plants or the zombies it could be interesting if you be, if you could be a plant or a zombie that brings it up um Especially if this is also based on Garden Warfare rules, because Garden Warfare, you, you always respawn. So there's not really a, a fact of death, you just kind of have to shoot at each other in a constant war. I'm putting... Could be interesting. Actually, I'll put an A. Could be pretty cool, but not, not like a perfect scenario like some of these other ones. <laughs> I wouldn't want to live in the Lego world. Yeah, <laughs> I can understand that. I just think it would be interesting to like try it out at least. I would be very curious at least about it. Uh, Rampage. Um, again, this depends on who uh, who you're living, what you're living as. If you if you isekai into this world as uh, the humans, this would be terrible. Uh, if you isekai as one of the monsters, it would still be terrible. <laughs> It would still be terrible because you're getting you're getting shot down by the government. That's not bueno. Yeah, I think it's a lose lose for everyone involved. <laughs> uh, Raid. I think this is also a post-apocalyptic world too, right? From my remember. Actually, I shouldn't say anything about it. I don't know anything about this game. I would assume that it would be like a uh uh. Just chucking in there. How many do I have up here, by the way? Oh god. That's like half the list. <laughs> at least I at least know like half these series, at least, I would say. Even if I haven't technically played them. Um, Apex Legends. Um Would be cool to have the powers and stuff that the Apex Legends people do. Wouldn't be so fun uh being shot all the time. But also would be fun shooting being people. So I don't know. Indifferent. Indifferent about Apex, I would say probably C. There's good things and bad things about it. You could uh, 
you could shoot people with your uh and uh and respawn and everything and do all those things um it'd be interesting it'd be interesting living in a battle royale world like that at least speaking of battle rails for tonight um fortnite would be a weird world to live in um because again you get you gotta shoot like people coming down from a bus um there's a lot of crazy weird shit that you can do in that game Personally, I'd rather live in Apex than live in Fortnite, so I'm gonna freaking just uh, check it out. Yeah. <laughs> F for Fortnite. <laughs> rather live in Apex, honestly, rather than Fortnite. Um, yeah. Candy Crush. Oh god. I, I I don't like this gameplay at all, but the cat the the world is interesting because it's literally just Candyland. Everything is candy. Maybe even you are candy. Um, that be that sounds fun. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I don't mind living in Candyland. Candyland sounds fun. <laughs> um, Stardew Valley. Um, you've raised a farm. Um, a lot of the characters are really cool though, so it wouldn't be a it wouldn't be a bad farm life at least. Um. I'll put an A tier because again, it's not my thing specifically, but there's there's some good times to be had in this. Like you you you, it's just a nice peaceful life where you're raising a farm, and you get to talk to a bunch of the people. It's basically just like Animal Crossing, but without the animals and more farming. <laughs> but more emphasis on farming. But I wouldn't mind living in the Stardew Valley world. Actually, I'm I'm thinking in the mind of a farmer. If I'm thinking in the as like one of the people who lives in Stardew Valley, I actually wouldn't mind that at all. Hell yeah, I'll put you, I'll put you up there. <laughs> if if I was just someone living in in Stardew Valley itself, I wouldn't mind it. Stardew Valley would be a neat little place to live in. There's some cool people in there, so I, I would I would definitely like to live in there. It'd be very uh, normal life because you know again everything is kind of just the same. You just uh, grow, you just have some farmer people who grow things and uh. You live a very normal life, but it's just because of the characters that makes an S tier. Furry mod make the game more fun? Yeah, indeed. <laughs> oh, I'm sure there is a furry mod, obviously, too. There's definitely a furry mod out there. Mm -hmm. Um, Alright, uh, let's get all the weird shooty games out of there. Um, Tom Clancy. Uh, Tom Clancy. This is... Uh, sick. Uh, the Counter-Strike is right here. Which Tom, which Tom Clancy is this? Is this just the Tom Clancy? Oh, this is just the Tom Clancy series. Isn't an oh, no, Counter Strike is its own thing? I guess, huh? Okay. Either way, I don't think you'd want to. <laughs> it's uh, guns and military, and uh, you know how I feel about guns and military. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that. All of that jazz. Um, TF two could be more interesting because some of the characters in there are actually pretty interesting you still have to shoot at a lot of people though um they're kind of in the same tier as like apex for me so yeah probably put them in c there's some cool people in that at least i streamed the game with the furry mod before oh nice <laughs> yeah I, I i knew there was a furry mod out there <laughs> i had a feeling there 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 would be um, Borderlands. Borderlands would be kind of cool to be in. Although it's also a post-apocalyptic wasteland, so maybe not. <laughs> uh, yeah, again, this, this is down here in this list, where it's like, it's good if you can deal with all the shit that's going on in it. <laughs> There's some cool characters in it, and uh, cool guns and everything, too. But not so much a good world to, like, be a part of, unless you're, like, actively doing the shooting stuff like them. Uh, Battlefront. Uh, so this is a Star Wars universe. The Star Wars universe by itself, I would love to live in. So I'm actually gonna move this up here. I just hate the fact that you can't see it. <laughs> oh man, there's so many that are like that too, and I hate it. Um, 
Overwatch could be interesting, but I don't know. Actually, I, again, I'm not going to talk shit out of my ass. I don't know enough about Overwatch to say anything about this game, so... Um, same with Ori. Um, Enter the Gungeon would be weird. Because it's, it's a little bit apocalyptic. And I feel like if you were a guy into this, you would... You, like, the whole point of the people going through the Enter the Gungeon is because they have a past of them that they want to kill. Because the Gungeon has, holds the gun that can kill your past. So, yeah, I don't really know about it, personally. There's some cool monsters and everything in there and cool guns that you can uh, shoot in there, but... I feel like there's probably a better world. I think I'll put an E into, like, the rest of these. <laughs> I'm almost done with this. Almost. Look how many games I went through. Oh my god. <laughs> Just about 334 franchises in this. <laughs> This is a franchise thing? Yeah. Um, I'm doing an isekai tier list, basically rating on how I would, uh, how good it would be to uh, be transported into this world and the afterlife <laughs> oh. and live among them. <laughs> a lot of them you can tell I kind of just put down here because I'm just like, oh, this is just what we do in real life. <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of them are just like, oh, this is actually hell. Okay, never mind. <laughs> um, Elder Scrolls would be interesting to live in. I wouldn't mind living in the Elder Scrolls universe. You got you got some interesting races in there, and you got some like magic and stuff to do with as well. Uh, they got like towns and everything set up, so it's proven to be like a livable, habitable place. So it's not that bad. Skyrim kind of falls into that world as well. Um, Little Big Planet. I actually wouldn't mind living in here as well. Um, Can be a sock puppet. Yeah, you could be a sock puppet, uh, re be reborn as a sock puppet person. <laughs> that could be interesting. I suppose you could make any place you want. Oh yeah, true. If you had the creation powers too, yeah, you could create your own little things as well too. Create your own world. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Yeah, that would be perfect actually. <laughs> um, Viva Pinata. <laughs> Viva Pinata would be interesting. Right. Mostly in the world of like, I'm not sure if you would be the gardener who's taking care of the pinatas or if you would be the pinata themselves. What about the bad guys who come and eat all your shit? I feel like either way would be interesting. Yeah, you, you, you'd have to deal with the bad guys a lot, but I still feel like it would be not that bad of a thing to deal with, at least. Actually, I don't know. If, if, also, if you were a pinata, you would have to deal with other pinatas trying to eat you because, you know, the food chain and everything. <laughs> so, we'll pump down it. A. It could be better, at least. <laughs> I feel like. Um, okay. Uh, Fable seems like an interesting world to live in as well. They got, like, magics and everything as well in that world. Um, I think there's only just, like, some bad stuff that's happening in the world, but, like, also depending on which Fable game you pick. <laughs> uh, I think the world itself, though, wouldn't be too bad to be in. Uh, I'm kind of blowing through these now because I don't, I want to get these done before six. <laughs> We're probably going to go out to eat soon. Okay. Yeah, once I'm done with the stream, I'll, I'll join you guys. Um, bro Force. Um, America. <laughs> America the game. Um, this would be an interesting game if you were really into explosives and shooty things, but it's also... It, it's, it's, it's a lot of military stuff, so also probably not. A lot of military stuff. There's some cool stuff in it, but it's not. It's it's military. <laughs> it's military. I don't really like that. <laughs> I, I wouldn't like to be in that kind of thing, at least. Um, Assassin's Creed is a weird one as well, because it's like it'd be cool. It would be cool to be like one of the assassins, but I don't know if you want to be in the world where people are constantly getting killed all the time. <laughs> And having all this shit happening to them. 
Um, maybe maybe the modern day Assassin's Creed could be cool because like in the modern age of this world, you have people who have the technology to go back and see the uh, memories of their ancestors, which could be cool actually to do. Yeah, how would you like to go into a machine where you could go back through your family tree up until like the medieval ages and replay their lives as if you were them? There might be some shit you don't want to know about. That's true. Yeah, I feel like that would be cool though. In terms of that aspect, I would like to. I would like to. I would like to live in that kind of world. I think that'd be kind of cool. Uh, also, especially too, because if you're in that world, if you die um, back in, the, in those times, you just get desynchronized, and then you just have to restart the simulation. <laughs> uh, the connect world. Um, yeah. So, from what I remember about this thing, this is basically encircling all of the. All of the games that were like, you know, tied to the Kinect, like Connect Adventures, Connect Sports, um, all that kind of stuff. Um, Connect Adventures specifically would be kind of interesting to live in because there's some interesting stuff that you did in that game. Um, I feel like there's more world that you'd rather be in though. But there's some there's some fun to be had in this. Um, where did I place the Wii series? Cause it's kind of they're kind of in the same vein as the Wii series that I put before. Oh, I put an S here. <laughs> oh yeah, because I did it because of Woohoo Island. That's right. I was biased toward that. <laughs> um, I think I'll put in D because it's like there's some cool stuff to do in it. But why would you want to? I say there's good and bad in it because it's like it's it's very meh. But there's some cool stuff that you can do in it. I would say. Um, Rocket League. Let's do Rocket League. Um, so this is the thing. The whole thing with Rocket League is that you have cars that are driving around playing basically what soccer with the cars themselves. <laughs> um, and it's, they have like boosters and thrusters on them. Uh, it'd be an interesting sport to see like for real. So I don't know if I would be part of it. It might be interesting to try out, but I don't know. I feel like there's like at least some good in Italy, so I'll probably put up here with everything else here. <laughs> It'd be interesting to see a world like that. Stick fight. Let's do a stick fight the game. Um, this is a weird one because you're just a stickman and you're battling other stickmen with a bunch of random weapons and stuff. I don't. I this is just a game actually. I don't really even consider this a world. I'm gonna chuck it into the not sure. That's not a world. Uh, I like to live in Terraria though. Terraria is a pretty cool world. You got magics, you got uh, fantasy stuff to do with. Um, you just have to deal with the zombies at night. It's the only thing. Where do I place Minecraft in that respect actually then? Minecraft I put in the C tier, that's right. Yeah, you just have to deal with the monsters and also the world bosses that appear every now and then. See, that it might not be a livable world is your problem. <laughs> it, it's a cool world, but not a very, uh, very not a very livable world, I would say. Um, I'd say probably B tier then in that case, because it's like these ones where it's just like there's some there's a lot of shit you would have to deal with in this. <laughs> Um, Cuphead. Let's just go down a list again. Cuphead, um... Cuphead's a weird world to live in. Because I feel like the only reason... The only reason that the Cuphead people are doing the boss trials like they are is because they have a debt to repay to the devil himself. That they have to... They have, they, they have to, uh... Bring these people to their graves so that they can finally meet the devil. Um... The world itself would be... is actually kind of cool, though. Because it's, like, all old-timey and everything. It's like an old timey cartoon, and uh, got some stuff that are like alive, and some 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 really interesting characters and the bosses in there. I feel like most of them wouldn't be very hostile either, unless you uh, 
Some, some of them might not be that hostile. Unless you, like, try to do something with them. I think it'd be interesting. I'd like to see what it's like. I'd like to see what it's like living in a world like that. I'm not sure what I would be reincarnated as, because there's so many things you could be in that kind of world. But it could be interesting. Uh, all right, we're almost there. Um, I actually don't really know much about the Rayman and Rabbit series now that I think about it. Yeah, I don't really know enough about these really to say anything. Let me bring these up here. Um, Banjo and Kazooie. Um, Banjo and Kazooie could be an interesting world to live in. Because what you got, you got a bunch of you got a bunch of furry creatures in uh, living in this kind of thing. Um, you got the witch Gruntilda that kind of does their her stuff around the world. Um, probably a few monsters and stuff, but I feel like it's a livable world. It would be interesting at least. I think it'd be interesting to live in here. I like I like to see what it's like at least. <laughs> I'd be really cool. It would be really interesting to see what it's kind of like. Same with Conger is bad for a day. <laughs> it, it, it's just a world that kind of... It it makes me curious. These worlds just make me really curious to see what they're like. That's the main reason why I like to isekai into them. <laughs> I like to explore them more and see what else what else could be done in those kind of worlds. Um, sea of Thieves, you become a pirate. Uh, Yarg. Uh, I mean, it could be cool. If you're into doing pirate stuff. You just have to deal with other pirates, obviously. So... I'd say probably uh, an even C tier with everything else. Because you, you, you yourself do get to be a pirate, but you also have to deal with other pirates and maybe them possibly sinking your ship. So, maybe not. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Um, Brawlhalla smash, but they have... Um, they have other people doing things with other things. Um, could be interesting to see the tournaments. But eh. But also eh. I'll, I'll put it in the D tier because it's a very eh for me. It would be interesting. Like I could be in there, but why would you? <laughs> uh, Club Penguin would be cool. Now I think about it. I also got this is a Disney property. Club Penguin would be cool. I wouldn't mind being a penguin. <laughs> Living in the Club Penguin world with my igloo and my little, uh, my little fuzzy. What were, the, what were the fuzzies called? Were they, were they just called fuzzies? I forget what they were called. What were the pets called in that game? Doodles? Or were, were, they were doodles, right? No, or no, doodles. Uh, I think doodle was uh, tuned down. <laughs> Either way, I think I think Club Penguin would be cool. I wouldn't mind living as a little penguin. Waddle, waddle, waddle. <laughs> uh, don't starve. I would hate to live in this world. <laughs> I'm just gonna say straight off, I would hate to live in this world. Um, not only is the world constantly against you as soon as you enter it, um, you, uh, <laughs> okay, yeah, I should, I should almost be done. So yeah, don't starve, um, I would hate to live in this world. <laughs> There's a lot of things that want to kill you, and, um, it's just, it's just not a good time. <laughs> um, PUBG, uh. Probably E for me. It's at least a little bit more favorable than Fortnite, but eh. Still eh. Overcooked. Um, being in a kitchen not chaotic, I would hate, probably. Yeah. I don't think, I don't think so. 
Actually, it, it would be interesting being in the restaurant at least for that, though. The restaurant itself would be kind of cool to be in. Just seeing the, 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 the people scramble around trying to cook your food. <laughs> I'll wait and see. Yeah. Um, hand time would be cool. Hand time would be pretty cool. I'd be curious to explore that world in myself. <laughs> I'm trying to blow through the last of these because for it's basically almost dinner time. And I don't want to make them wait much longer. Uh, Beat Saber is more of an experience than it is a world. So we're going to put that up here. Um, 60 seconds, I would hate to live in this world. Because again, your 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 whole the whole thing with sixty seconds is your place is getting nuked, and now you have to live in a bomb shelter. Yeah. Um. Angry Birds. Ah. I would rather not actually. Um. Same with asteroids. Same with centipede. I would just rather not. <laughs> Cyberpunk's cool though. Cyberpunk's kind of cool. I wouldn't mind being in the world of Cyberpunk. I I really like the setting of Cyberpunk a lot, which is kind of like. The main thing is like why I like to do uh, some stuff with it. Um, ukulele would be kind of cool. There's those monsters you gotta deal with, so... B, yeah. Uh, God of War. God of War is weird to me. Cause like, it, it's cool. But a lot of the stuff that goes on with it doesn't really involve you unless you're a, a demigod. Which being a demigod would be cool. But then again, you might get killed by Kratos. So... Mm, yeah, unless you're Poggers. <laughs> unless you're Poggers. <laughs> um, same with 007. Unless you're really good at uh, doing spy stuff like that. Probably not. Scribblehouse is cool, though. Scribblehouse are really nice. Um... Especially if you if, if you if you are able to get the notebook like he does and able to create things to life by just writing things down in them, that would be amazing. <laughs> I'd love to have that kind of power. Uh, what was this one again? Geometry Dash. This is another one. It's not really a world. It's kind of an experience. Um, and finally, the last two, Octodad. Um. You get to be an octopus uh, living among the humans. Um, I mean, gain side, you're an octopus. Downside, you have to live among humans. Or maybe you're one of the humans who's trying, who's who's watching this octopus trying to be human. Could be interesting. But a lot of the stuff is like, yeah, it's actually more of a D. It's just like, why would you want to? Because it's all it's a lot of like just like the regular stuff that you would do. The main gimmick just being an octopus. And finally, Castle Crashers. Uh, Castle Crashers? I don't know if you would want to live in here, actually, now that I think about it. Hmm. It's kind of like a, uh... Yeah, because there's some shit that goes on in this, in this, wor in this world. Um, uh, you can do some cool shit, though, too. So it's like... Yeah. Good if you're poggers. <laughs> that's, that's, that, I think that's what we'll do. List is finally done. Yeah. Oh boy. That was quite long. Oh boy. Okay. Yeah, let me let me bring this back down to here. Um, because I'm going to be heading out uh, right away after the stream is done. Um, the list itself won't be posted on Twitter until later at night. But... So you get the full list. Uh, here's the full thing, uh, starting from the bottom. <laughs> um, yeah. I think I kind of agree with all these, though. At least all the ones that I know of. <laughs> uh, maybe once I get more into anime, I'll do, uh, I'll do another tier list of this for anime titles instead. Cause I'd love to do that with that too. So yeah, I would love to live in all these worlds though. These would be amazing places to be in. <laughs> all right. Um, with that out of the way, I think we can end the stream. Yeah, this, this went much longer than I expected. 
I probably should have picked a uh, lower... I probably should start to know better now by now and stop picking all the giant tier lists. But you, you know how I am. <laughs> so, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and follow if you wish to see more. Um, if you uh, deal with everything else down below, including other tier lists that I've done on uh, in the description. And uh, if you want to check out this tier list itself and do uh, your own take of it as well, also put that down in the description. Um, and yeah, Sunday, I think. Yeah, Sunday we're doing another stream with Chris So and Alex. Uh, probably Don't Starve. We'll have to see about it, though. So uh, look forward to that. And uh, with that all said, I will see you guys uh, in the next stream. If you, if you stuck around to the end, I greatly appreciate it. Bye-bye. <laughs>